Espera, tío, espera, tío. Espera, tío, espera, tío. 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 Ok, vamos a apuntar. Bueno, dulu sabar jam sekopnya harus kita jam 12 uh, jam 1 maksud gua jadi untuk saat ini uh, bentar gua nyalain musiknya dulu terus gua kecil soalnya uh, jadi sementara kita lagi nungguin sampai jam 12.30 dia pre game show kita lihat apakah penting atau enggak abis itu baru kita uh, lanjut nonton uh, yang jam 1 yang bener benar uh, games kok opening live ya bentar Halo sih, hari ini aku di jalan malam Bentar, gue kecilin resolusinya dulu Sabar ya, sabar Gue sebenernya agennya dua sih Satu nungguin Gamescom, satu nungguin lagu barunya si uh, KDA Masya udah keluar belum sih? Bentar, gue coba cek dulu Twitter ya, sabar Sudah keluar KDA, kita Twitter KDA Music Sebelas PM PT PT to WIB Dia ini jam berapa gitu? Itu premier apa tuh? 7 Agustus jam 12 PM Jam 2 pagi di kita Oke, okay. itu jam 2 pagi ntar ada KDA Itu gak tau barang games kom atau enggak deh Bentar gue sambil main Fall Guys satu game mungkin Habis itu kita udah cek uh, pre-show nya gimana Terus um, Ya semoga benar Jadi gue sambil minum kopi juga Karena gue udah mulai sedikit ngantuk Uh, halo si Faisal Sepati, halo si Muhammad Ramdan juga, halo malam uh, Ya, yeah, sama si dia setengah jam buat pre-show Tapi full uh, show-nya harusnya jam uh, do, Jam 1, jam 1 udah full, 12.30 itu baru pre-show doang Jadi kita sembari mencari crown Karena udah lama gak main Halo si Eriki dan Omal Berarti sekitar 2 jam, berarti dari jam 1 sampai jam 3 berarti paling gak Jadi, um, kalau mata lu melek, kita akan sampai jam 3, kalau misalnya enggak ya Tiba-tiba ketiduran terus sambil live streaming ya apa boleh buat gitu Sore, halo, sore, si Bobby, halo, malam, pagi, malam atau pagi, terserah ya, Kalau misalnya lu merasa kayak, shit, kemarin gua kayak lu pakai baju ini juga apa buat live streaming ya, gua belum mandi jadi untuk menyikirkan pertanyaan itu, ya sih gue belum mandi, gue belum ngerti baju, so Lo akan ketemu dengan Rayu dua kali Eh, uh, dari sini ya bang, kalau udah mau cerita kita harus gimana? Kalau bisa di Fall Guys, ya ya gimana gitu Lo gak bisa ngelakuin apapun gitu, kecuali bisa record um, Ya, jangan terbaik ya, lo ya, record terus tag uh, si Mediatonic atau si Developer Digital di uh, Twitter Kasih lagi username yang nge-cheat gitu Semoga ada tidak lanjutnya, kalau enggak ya, ya gimana ya udah queen aja gitu, daripada lu kesel Satu game doang ada teacher, udah queen aja lah Satu next time yang enggak ada gitu Pasti sih kalau bisa report, memang ada fungsi report di game online Yang lo mainin sekarang ya ada cheaternya ya, ya lakukan lah gitu Manfaatin feature uh, report cheater ya.
Jangan dulu lucu banget sih, serem banget gue ini Kita isang dulu Iya Ya ya Gue baru mau narik Terjar rembab Kita berharap pasti bisa berhasil. Cool. Coba satunya lagi, gue coba uh, live streaming Gamescom. Bentar. Bagian skomen sendiri nggak live, gimana caranya? Bentar ya Oh ini bisa, bisa tinggal sampai kayak satu menit ekstra ke depan Hmm, gimana kalau game skom? Tu 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 So, tidak perlu khawatir Halo Minta bad plug ya Ih, siang Bani berani ya kamu Aduh Gendam gua adalah si VBNTK ini Gua gak mau ngejar yang lain Gua cuma bawa lu aja Yes Gua kabur Ya Set yang gua kalah, no Ayo biru Biru berjuang lah Jangan sampe gua gugur Pas live stream biru Please Please biru, please Oh tidak, gua akan kalah No, team game, no Oh gak 6, yes Biru, biru, please jangan kalah Oh no, kalah gua Oh, gak overtime Come on, biru, biru, gua benci game Team gamenya selalu begini, begini terus Kuning, please. Mati, please. Yes. Halo, si Rage. Selamat hari Jumat. Selamat hari Jumat juga. Si Osan Pohon dan Nama Metal. Halo, malam-malam. Kita masih dalam proses menunggu Gamescom. Kita lihat pre-show-nya yang penting atau enggak. Jam 2 antara ada KDA. Jadi jam 2 mungkin kita akan serong bentar liatin video key barunya si KDA. Si Rogana apakah bakal ada channel baru R8 di Gamescom? Gue belum gak tau, tapi kemarin si Geoff udah ada ngasih list publisher-nya, bentar Bentar dia udah, udah sempet Ngasih list publisher, gue gak tau apakah ada Gamecom apa enggak, bentar ya Bentar ya, gue sambil Wait Katanya sih seharusnya dari Dari, bentar gue cek dulu, sabar Ntar gua fokus tuh, gua ntar fokus membaca Capcom, 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 C, 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 C Ntar, ntar C, 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 gak ada, gak ada Capcom Gak ada Capcom Mungkin bakal ke... Gabung ke Playstation mungkin, tapi kecil kemungkinan kayak Capcom gak ada Ada Bandai Namco, kayaknya skala Nexus 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 Ntar aku fokus tuh Udah 6 dari 12 yang gugur Masya udah lolos, satu lagi Oke, thank you Jadi dari Geoff ini gak ada kayaknya Bentar Jadi dari Geoff, 2K, Activision, Mary Namco, Bethesda, Blizzard, Bungie, Deep Steel 4, Devolver Tony Arch, Frontier, Focus on Gearbox, Head Up, Apple Station, Mother Bros, Tuss, Xbox Game Studio Si Anthony Arch sudah confirm Star Wars Squadron, Devolver pasti bawa Fall Guys Banco 
most likely Scarlet Nexus. Activation sure dah pasti Black Ops kayaknya. Um, ya orang enggak enggak terlalu masih belum ketahuan apa gitu. Ada beberapa kayak announcement baru tapi most likely uh, bukan most likely ya. Uh, ke- sebagian besar udah confirm kalau kalau yang akan ditahuin adalah update update news baru gitu. Loh. Update news baru terkait uh, game yang udah di announce sebelum. Jadi um, gue nggak tahu ada apa apakah ada apa enggak tapi enggak ada list Capcom di situ. Si Wilson tuh ada kemungkinan uh, expansion pack Destiny 2 sih. Kayaknya mereka enggak ada enggak ada rencana buat cepat-cepat keluarin uh, Destiny 3 atau game baru gitu. Most likely si uh, expansion barunya si Destiny 2. Gue lupa nama expansionnya apa tapi. Sayang. Ini kita bermain ada tricky. Shit. Berarti antara kiri atau kanan Oke, okay, bukan itu, berarti kiri lagi Oh, gua akan jatuh, please Oke, okay, ini bener kayaknya Please ada bani maju ke depan, please Oke, okay, okay, ini bener berarti yes. Si Dayan tuh Gamescom harusnya jam 1 untuk full, uh, full show-nya 12.30 itu pre-show, jadi kita 12.30 ntar kayak gimana kontennya Apakah worth it dilihat atau enggak, kalau enggak kita main Fall Guys sampai jam 1 baru kita nongkrong jam 1 Jam 2 ada KDA, uh, video clip barunya The Badass ya, judulnya Halo sih, kadang usah pagi-pagi, belum pada tidur ternyata, masih ramai Dan hexagon, god damn it. Kita kayak harus main sabotase aja lah. Nah, kalau misalnya lu melihat baju gua sama dengan live stream kemarin, gua cuma bisa bilang kok gua belum mandi, udah itu doang. Alasan gua tidak ada alasan yang ekstra lagi. Gua cuma lagi malas mandi. Termasuk kelompok mandi jarang kayaknya. Shit, god damn it. Lu bisa harus jatuh di situ ya lu ya. Enggak bisa ke tempat yang lain ya. Ayo, pingi hard. Sampai mati duluan, let's go. God damn it. God damn it. Oh, jatuh juga Oh nggak beda lagi orangnya Oh ini dia, si bangsat Oh men, kita akan jatuh bersama men Lu akan jatuh, gua akan bunuh lu dulu pasti Sini, sini lu, gua bersihin Oh no, oh no, oh no <laughs> Kenapa semuanya udah, udah, udah pada jatuh di area bawah gitu Shit, gue gak, gak akan menang nih Oh no! Kayaknya antara gue sama si pinging hard itu deh kayaknya Oh shit, gue berada di penghujung nyawa gitu God damn it Come on, come on Pes mati yang atas pes jatuh. Oh dia mati dia mati. No. Oh shit dia nggak mati. Jauh banget kan David. Oh no. Si dia satu tu. Okay beda beda orang paling ke. Uh, si Venusor ya si baju baju si Peter yang si unik loh. Um, si Sirogane si gimana pernah soal real life action Netflix. Uh, Premisnya rada rada. nyeramin karena uh, mereka udah confirm kalau uh, yang jadi bintang utama adalah dua anaknya Wesker uh, si Jane dua pun dua-dua cewek kalau pantar Jane dan Brian atau apa gitu pokoknya dua-duanya anak cewek uh, jadi akan ada dua timeline 8 episode timeline pertama akan 
uh, berkisah soal dua anak ini di umur 14 tahun dan mereka baru dipindahin sama si Wesker ke New Raccoon City terus dari sana mereka baru temuin kalau bapaknya itu jahat bla 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 terus entar di timeline kedua si satu dari anak ini akan tumbuh gede dan dan uh, berusaha survive di tengah dunia yang katanya cuma dari 6 miliar orang tinggal sisa 15 juta orang di seluruh dunia terus uh, sebagian besar juga kayak binatang terus manusia semua udah kena t virus jadi dia kayak berusaha survive di situ uh, di satu sisi gue lumayan penasaran karena gue pengen lihat gimana cara mereka adaptasiin uh, dan memperluas universe-nya uh, Resident Evil pakai anaknya Wesker ini um, especially kalau misalnya mereka mau bawa genre yang lebih survival kayak, kayak mungkin kayak Uh, The Walking Dead, mungkin gue gak pernah nonton The Walking Dead sih, cuman uh, mungkin ada kesan mereka bisa nawarin cerita yang uh, soal survival, soal The Walking Dead gitu tapi di sisi lain juga gue cuma rada-rada khawatir karena karena um, mereka basically bangun bangun cerita original gitu kan kita gak pernah ketemu sama anaknya Wesker terus sekarang kita tiba-tiba ngobrolin soal anaknya Wesker um, dan ngobrolin kembali soal T-Virus dan lain-lain, gue harap um, Ya, gue sedikit excited, gue sedikit khawatir juga gitu, kira kayak gitu, kayak, kayak uh, gue penasaran juga gitu, kira ceritanya kayak gimana yang mau dibawa. Si Rich, uh, Black Me Fukong, yes, gue lumayan excited, tapi um, ya gue gak akan harap kalau game-nya akan rilis dalam, dalam waktu cepat gitu. Soalnya gue ambis, bukan ambis ya, gue harapannya sih memang si, si developer-nya karena memang udah punya visi yang bagus, terus uh, mereka punya... Sorry, uh, mereka punya uh, technical uh, achievement di trailernya juga lumayan berkesan gitu. gitu. Um, ya, yeah. mereka bisa dapat suntikan dana dari dari publisher gede yang uh, either mau 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 mastiin Black Mirror Mukongnya uh, memang imba gitu, atau memang bisa dapat ini buat buat loncatan masuk ke pasar Cina gitu. Jadi kayak saya kayak Tech Two misalnya mereka mau masuk ke pasar Cina terus mereka uh, bantu bikin uh, Black Mirror Wukong gitu, terus kasih dana yang gede terus dari sana mereka bisa ngajar keuntungan, misalnya kayak dapetin uh, public uh, trust kepercayaan public dari dari pasar Cina atau apa gitu pokoknya yang diharapnya ada ujung-ujungnya si, si uh, game science-nya tuh dapetin budget yang lebih gede buat make sure ini game beneran jadi gitu dan ambisius karena nah, mereka uh, sekarang baru sekitar 30 orang developer-nya um, 19 yang bikin trailernya itu sekitar se- enggak yang bikin trailer itu 30 orang dan mereka mau rekrut sekitar 19 orang ekstra lagi tahun ini. Jadi baru kita bayangkan berarti sekitar 49 orang buat bikin game triple A begitu. Um, ya gue takutnya malah enggak sampein sih ambisinya. Kok bisa sih? Ya semoga ada investor gede terus bisa bikin studio lebih gede, bisa rekrut lebih banyak orang terus bikin game yang bener-bener Masih kualitasnya kualitas triple A gitu, oh, boleh. Jadi saya baru live lah sebelum live itu dilarang. Udah ditolak sama pemerintah uh, wacananya. Tadi gue baca di detik uh, soal CTI jadi pemerintah menyebut kalau regulasi konten itu semuanya di handle sama Departemen uh, Kominfo. Uh, CTI tidak punya hak untuk uh, berusaha uh, melarang live streaming dengan dalih tidak sesuai dengan konten Pancasila. Kayak what the fuck? Apa yang terjadi? Kenapa? Kenapa harus apa ya harus menggunakan cara seperti itu untuk untuk gue tau TV mulai kehilangan pamor mungkin uh, yang nonton sekarang cuma mama yang nggak nggak ngerti YouTube or something cuman well nggak harus lo hajar dengan kayak kayak kita mau mati mau matiin uh, live streaming mau matiin kayak channel YouTube harus uh, peraturan sama kayak penyiaran dan sebagainya gitu kalau misalnya lo merasa lo Uh, butuh bersaing ya ya bikinlah konten yang lumayan uh, lumayan uh, setara gitu dengan dengan channel channel YouTube yang sekarang mungkin lagi lagi ngetren gitu jadi jangan fokus ke sinetron lagi mungkin fokus lebih ke ke konten experience yang anak muda memang butuh gitu or something jadi kayak kayak beradaptasi lah kalau nggak mau mati ya ya beradaptasi gitu jangan jangan berusaha membunuh yang baru gitu shit sorry Tapi udah udah ditolak pemerintah kok wacananya. Jadi tidak tidak perlu uh, khawatir untuk masalah itu. Oh, 
gue gue si uh, teman gue misalnya kayak yang di Pontianak bilang emaknya juga sekarang uh, cuma nonton apa UC UC TV doang buat drama Korea gitu mereka udah nggak nonton HTI lagi kok nggak tau deh mak gue sendiri masih nonton TV atau nggak sih mak gue doyan acara dangdut sih pasnya kok pasnya kalau ada acara dangdut sih mak gue akan sangat sangat happy happy aja gitu anjing ini mau bunuh gue tai si rampan musuh Si mana sebelum enggak apa apa sih itu cuma mau main enaknya doang. Okay. Saya juga kayak pam apa ya udah udah lumayan sepi terus lu bikin langkah begini terus kayak lu punya uh, pamor di kalangan anak muda tuh makin turun gitu. Kayak, kayak instead of kayak bikin bikin anak muda mungkin tertarik buat nonton channel lu lagi lu malah bikin anak muda ngerti kalau lu bersikap seperti perusahaan tua yang enggak mau. nggak mau tumbuh modern gitu, terus mal- malah makin antipati gitu. Nanti gue coba cek games kom masih belum, masih enam lagi. Harus satu match ini kelar kita bisa coba rehat lihat uh, pre life nya gimana. Si Samurai apa bisa diaspek dari season dua Fall Guy? Uh, gue rasa lebih banyak uh, race tipe survival instead of uh, oh udah final round, kian ya. Uh, instead of kayak apa? Uh, uh, game basis tim gua harap lebih banyak yang solo terus lebih banyak mini game uh, kosmetiknya yang hasil kolaborasinya tuh jauh-jauh lebih, lebih banyak mungkin sama sama franchise game lain yang lebih gede gitu kayak skin Dota misalnya udah lebih awesome. Tapi gua sendiri enggak enggak terlalu banyak um, banyak apa ya? Gua sendiri enggak terlalu banyak berharap dengan kondisi kayak kayak karantina sekarang si timnya sendiri uh, bisa nanganin uh, konten yang cukup banyak atau enggak tapi yang pasti media tadi enggak terlalu kecil sebagai developer ini mereka kayak ada ada 200 orang sih kan gua. Jadi definitely bukan tim indie yang kayak cuma 5 orang doang misalnya. Mereka cukup banyak resource uh, untuk untuk bisa make sure kalau si Fall Guys-nya akan terus hidup gitu. Ya, semoga aja memang memang uh, timing-nya timing release-nya tepat terus uh, kontennya juga memang menarik sehingga orang tetap balik dan balik lagi ke Fall Guys-nya. Tapi menurut gua ini game memang memang keren sih. untuk untuk tahun ini ya, ya kita nggak tahu komentar ntar uh, ada apa ada ada lebih banyak uh, kompetitor dan sebagainya kita nggak tahu apakah si Volgasnya akan bisa bisa uh, catch up atau enggak gitu tapi untuk saat ini apa yang dia tawarin memang memang lumayan uh, pantas diapresiasi buat gue pribadi uh, ada yang bisa mati please thank you Ini lima veteran semua ya. Terlepas dari bajunya tidak ada kosmetiknya. Jadi ya adik-adik ini pada veteran gitu. Yes, gua dapat. Lolos berkat maju dikit. Gua harus maju dikit. cepat mulai menggila oh shit shit oh no oh no oh no yes gue pegang yes gue berhasil berhasil curang Oke, okay, kenapa gue harus bangga tapi lo bisa melihat kalau strategi gue berhasil. Cuma, ya, gitu. Eh, gitu. Dengan hanya memegang sebentar, gue berhasil menang kerap. Gue coba, ya, gitu. 
Si Amal tak betul lah, YouTuber frustasi main for good jadi komedi sendiri sekali secara lihat betapa jagonya bampak begini <laughs> Mungkin belum pernah terbiasa doang kan Kalau misalnya tahu strateginya harusnya gak, gak terlalu susah buat dikuasain gitu Si lagi uh, gadget sebuah play tentu dong Aduh kira-kira jahat kamu mas plot Itu bukan jahat, itu, itu masalah strategi uh, Dua menit lagi mungkin gua akan, uh, bentar gua akan silent dulu musiknya Kita lihat si Gamescomnya ada apa Kalau misal pre-show yang gak menarik, berarti setengah jam ke depan gue akan main Fall Guys lagi um, Masih ada 1 menit lebih sih So Kita lihat sebentar ada apa gitu Oke okay. Bisa um, baru ntar gue baru balik ke Fall Guys kalau pre-show yang gak menarik Sampai so, ngobrol ngobrol aja kalau misal lu pengen, uh, pengen ngobrol sesuatu uh, Kayak ada soal cari sponsor di sport Dari sih gadget gue main Fall Guys baru 10 kali dari beli kemarin Maksudnya 10 kali menang 10 kali menang Di Vogus itu udah udah prestasi yang lumayan pantas dirayain, tapi entah pelan tapi pasti uh, seri dengan frekuensi lumayan lo akan akan belajar uh, banyak in a way kayak uh, lo akan paham apa yang mesti lo lakuin um, di setiap stage yang lo temuin gitu. Makanya gue lumayan excited sama season 2 kita akan lihat apakah seberapa besar perubahan yang diusung gitu. Si Rere jadi penasaran berapa hour playnya Mas Pat. Gue juga penasaran karena lo gak bisa ngecek itu di uh, PS4. Tapi hopefully Harusnya sih gak, gak seberapa lama sih Kalau kita konten pre-show-nya dulu ya Terus kita lihat apakah worth it ditunggu atau enggak Kalau enggak kita lanjut uh, Fall guys, jadi kalau misalnya cuma berisi kayak kepalanya si Geoff Kylie doang uh, Ngobrol di sini um, no, 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 kita enggak nonton itu <laughs> Oh, baru 10 kali match uh, Itu sebuah kali match masuk on launch day dan dua beli semua kostum di hari pertama Biasa dipaksa Aldo buat yang mau main buat live yang berakhir di wacana <laughs> Si Aldo udah live ini belum sih? Udah live si uh, Fall Guys belum sih? Aku belum, belum lihat si Aldo uh, main Fall Guys kayaknya Saya mau tahu, bagus sih buat mempromosiin Bang Plan. Anda payah main Fall Guys, Anda beli beberapa rintangan, jangan khawatir sekarang ada solusinya. Bergurulah ke Bang Plan Indonesia, jamin Anda akan bergelimang crown. <laughs> so jago gitu, padahal prestasi nggak seberapa. Maksudnya, gue rasa masih banyak yang lebih jago lagi di luar harusnya. Bukan bukan gue yang paling imba gitu. Wait, bentar, kenapa tidak ada? Masih belum dimulai? Aku benci chat. Semua bahar Elden Ring, gue gak akan dapat Elden Ring, gue gak yakin dulu dapat Elden Ring Oh god Masih ada 13 menit lagi, oke okay, mari kita lanjut Fall Guy Oke, okay, satu game Fall Guy lagi, siapa tau dapat crown Si TLM party sama Mas Pan tadi carry Sayang dia gak, gak ada sistem carry-carryan gitu sih, sayangnya ya Cuma gak bisa, gak bisa kayak Kalau misal lu bareng gua, gua akan bisa bantuin lu gitu. Cuma pada saat match, uh, match basis team doang gitu. Si kadang usah season 2 kayaknya switch sama Xbox. Kayaknya ga akan secepat itu menurut gua. Kayaknya bakal, bakal... Mungkin eksklusif kayak 6 bulan atau setahun mungkin? Mungkin ya. Si Mas Mas Mas, halo Bang Plot, saya disini demi Elden Ring Gua gak yakin bakal Elden Ring, jadi jangan terlalu naikin ekspektasi lu uh, soal Elden Ring Karena menurut gua kalau misalnya mereka akan announce uh, sesuatu yang baru di Elden Ring Harusnya ada sedikit hype gitu dari either From Software atau Bandai Namco Tapi sejauh ini belum ada obrolan apa-apa Most likely uh, Yang dari Bandai Namco adalah Scarlet Nexus uh, Mentok-mentoknya gitu yang paling Paling the bestnya mungkin kita bisa sedikit Tales of Arise Karena ditunda tahun depan, cuman Mentok-mentoknya uh, Menurut gue pribadi ada Toretto Star Wars, Scarlet Nexus Terus yang kedua baru Tales of Arise Gue gak yakin ada Elden Ring Kalau ada Elden Ring harusnya mereka udah udah hype Hype gede mampus, harusnya Oke, okay, uh, ini gue akan kasih lihat satu, satu trik uh, ekstra Kalau misalnya game yang full guys uh, Gimana cara lewatin uh, baling-baling tergede yang super cepat itu yang dimana semua orang pada terlontar uh, The best uh, posisi terbaik untuk, untuk paling nggak bisa manfaatin itu gimana Wah uh, gue coba survive dulu Yap, gue udah lempar dan Yap Yap 
So ya yeah, lu bisa lihat kalau misalnya bukan 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 baling bukan baling baling ini, tapi baling baling yang depan yang super cepat itu. Ini, oke okay, bisa lihat ini ada baling baling di mana semua orang akan gugur. Uh, lu bisa lihat gua harap lu bisa lihat mereka akan jatuh. Nah cara terbaik menurut gua pribadi adalah lu bisa ngambil coba jalan paling samping, lu ke jalur ungu ini, terus coba aja jalur gitu. Tetap aja jatuh, god damn it. Gua mau showcase itu tapi gak bisa, gagal. Tapi uh, kalau misalnya lu jalan di ungu itu terus uh, timingnya tepat, harusnya chance lu untuk lolos itu jauh-jauh lebih gede daripada lu jalan di tengah misalnya. Gua mau showcase, tapi ternyata gua sendiri gagal. Tapi lu bisa kalau misalnya lu pengen coba kira-kira akan berhasil datang, lu bisa ngambil jalur yang paling tepi, paling kiri. Itu mungkin 70% mungkin berhasil sama timingnya tepat ya. Si Samurai uh, Bandai Namco bakal revidiasi baru di SKP7 Mas Pak, linknya kemarin udah ada 3 besar baru Kayaknya bukan link sih, itu udah confirm kan Mereka rayaan ulang tahun uh, SKP yang ke-25 or something Ya, uh, yeah, KDA si Legend Gadget uh, jam 2 pagi ntar Jadi gue mungkin akan switch sedikit nonton video game-nya KDA Walaupun pasti kona copyright, peduli aman uh, Si Amo itu kemarin cuma Mortal Shell dan berada di install Susah fuck Shell Potion awal gak ada Gue belum main Mortal Shell Gue belum tertarik juga buat main Mortal Shell Oh gue udah dapat ini No Side Road Kan kemarin ada request kan Gue udah dapat. Tapi harus main di region Amrik Kalau misalnya ada waktu uh, Gue pasti akan review cuman um, Kayaknya akan akan nunggu nunggu um, Weekend gue baru main gitu Untuk No Side Road Jadi uh, mereka baru available di Rank US dong Si Ganesha nggak ada cuma New World, New World apa? Si Masih oke okay, bang, lu udah coba Mortal Shell tuh? Belum, gua belum coba Mortal Shell tuh. Apa ini? Gua kemarin ngobrol sama si uh, adminnya Blood uh, apa uh, grup Facebook Blood Born and Souls Indonesia. Dia bilang kalau Mortal Shell jauh lebih bagus daripada Hell Point. Tapi uh, gua sendiri belum main Mortal Shell. Dia sendiri sih rekomend uh, Mortal Shell. Pressure masih 8 menit lagi, kayaknya masih bisa menang satu Masih bisa menang, anjir Belagu banget, nah, kembali Slime Eh, uh, kayaknya selalu New World MMORPG dari Amazon Oh, oke, okay. gue pernah dengar kayaknya um, Bukannya masih beta? Kalau nggak salah? Kalau udah full release? Mari kita berharap kita tidak gagal di sini Ini menjadi momok tersendiri Dan kita berada di paling belakang lagi, god damn it kalau mau ambil resiko, lu bisa nungguin mereka maju duluan sih Kayak lihat berapa orang banyak yang lompat ini kuning Kalau misalnya udah agak sepi, baru lu lompat Ya, ya lu tidak, tidak terpapar Kumpulan-kumpulan uh, manusia, bukan manusia Jelibin-jelibin yang berusaha survive gitu di, di tengah-tengahnya God damn it, fuck you, fuck you Ah shit Sabar, tidak perlu Uh, gegabah untuk urusan uh, lompat dan ini ingat uh, misi utama misi utama lu bukanlah jadi yang pertama misi utama lu adalah survive jadi itu tidak harus terburu-buru main full guys gitu kecuali di di bagian uh, misi terakhir ya tapi kalau saya hanya untuk misi kayak gini untuk survive ya survive aja nggak perlu God, fuck you lu nggak bisa nungguin gua lompat Gak perlu diving diving gitu. Lalu duluan. Ah. Oke, okay, gua akan mati di sini kayaknya. Apakah gua akan mati di sini, please jangan. Come on, come on, bro. Saya gua mati di sini. Oh no. Satu kali lompat atau mati. Masa gagal, enggak mungkin dong. Bye bye. Profis boy. Saka tidak menghalangi jalan orang. Thank you. Oke, okay, si Silver ini lagi. Si Silver panikan. Oke, okay, lu jandu dah. Gue takut banget malu. Bye bye. Terlalu banyak orang yang panik. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Santai, 
santai santai pelan tidak ada yang tidak perlu terburu-buru nyak push si overcrash gue juga lagi main fall guys sambil nunggu uh, opening night live samaan ya setelah kita bisa ketemu kawan sama di PS4 juga si yang itu hal pun mirip dia satu kakunya dalam motor shell so light tapi nyebelin uh, shell harus cari nama dulu baru bisa upgrade oh oke okay. apakah kita akan di tall mountain atau akan di uh, bad plug kita lihat semoga di tall mountain dan bukan bad plug Oh, share bab lock. Rare fumble. Gua rada-rada benci ini sebenarnya. Tapi kita lihatlah. Semoga gua bukan yang pertama, karena kalau misalnya gua yang pertama, beban. Oh shit, gua yang pertama. Fuck. Gua dapat ekor pertama kayaknya. Yap. 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 Gua yang dapat. Beban, oh beban moral. Bukan moral sih, mental tepatnya. Ambil aja dah, ambil aja dah. Apa lu, apa lu, apa lu, apa lu? Ngejar gua dah, sono. Apa lu, apa lu? Apa lu? Ngejar gua dari sono, coba. Apa lu, apa lu? Ngejar gua dari sono, coba. Eh? Apa lu? Apa salah lu mau pada mau ngejar apa enggak? Gue sih peduli aman. Ya, jatuh gua. Ayo buru-buru ayo kejar gua, ayo buru-buru ayo. Ya, gagal. Ya, gagal. Ya, gagal lagi gua. Aduh, gimana ya? Ayo kejar gua sini. Ya, gimana dong? Ya. Ya, kok enggak dapat? Oh, tenang, tenang. Kita dapat masih 17 detik santai, santai. Kita main aman. Atau dia. Sini, lu bakal jatuh ke sini, come on. Pasti gua dapat. Tenang, santai, santai. Oh, no! 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 Ya! Yeah! Tunggu tinggal 2 detik lagi. Si tomat bangsat. Si Master Sabiru semua cheater ni ya, seharusnya bisa dibersihin habisnya semua ke? Masih tiga minit lagi, let's go. God damn it. Tapi kok udah udah mengeluarkan jurus santuy gitu, santuy gitu. Entah ada gagal. God damn it. Si Raji Gadget for for orang dalamnya di internal. Ini kekuatan orang dalamnya masih belum kontek-kontekan. Mereka sibuk Gamescom gitu. Jadi nggak dapat kekuatan orang dalamnya. Kurang intens ini ya. Kedip-kedipnya. Dua menit lagi ya. Sebentar gue akan coba lihat uh, pre-show-nya. Harusnya pre-show kan bukan... Uh, berarti 15 menit doang pre-show-nya. Kayaknya bakal si... Geoff uh, ngomong-ngomong doang kali. Jadi gue mungkin ada satu... Bisa satu kali match lagi harusnya. Mungkin. Semoga menang sih. Intinya sih semoga menangnya aja. Posisi di atas saya tu. Antara mau live streaming atau mau nonton full guys gitu. Antara mau live streaming full guys atau mau nonton ONL. Jadi judulnya doang. Jadi sebenarnya gua ni puluh gitu judulnya terus apa open yang nakal tapi gua pengen kasih lu full guys tu.
Nanti gue akan coba showcase lagi tempat yang tadi Apakah bisa atau enggak Hopefully bisa Kalau nggak bisa ya sudah Berarti memang memang strateginya tidak selalu berhasil Jadi basically ini akan kita lakuin Kita akan kembali di tepi Yap gagal lagi Fuck Berarti memang memang tidak 100% memang Not even 7% Nah, event 75% kalau gitu. Ada satu detik lagi. Si Avel Crash sambil dive, berarti harus dive ya. Kita jadi HD dulu kalau gitu. Sabar ya, sabar ya, sabar ya. Nanti gue akan jump, tenang. Gue, gue pasti akan jump, santai. Sabar. Pasti si Jeff ngomong-ngomong dong, gue yakin gue. Hello and welcome to the Game Show oh, si... Pre Show. Oh, uh, Kyle Bossman. Ya, isi Alice dulu. You probably have a lot of questions right now. Like, who is this guy? Not that important. Is this the show? No. Just to be clear, this is the pre-show. This is you and me for the next 20 minutes getting excited about opening night live proper. The big show. Oh, <laughs> that the one big is going to look nice. Kas, that one's got uh, Jeff kas... Keighley. That one's got a budget. It's going to be fancy. Gua tahu apakah dia like masih di ICLS atau enggak gitu. Thinking, Wait. Is the next 20 minutes just this guy with his headband talking to me about stuff? No. It's going to be some of that. But most of the show is trailers. We have world premiere trailers right here for the pre-show. If anything, my job is just to smile at you and fill time in between trailers. <laughs> In fact, we should, I think, start off with a trailer. We'll talk about opening night live. Oh It's shit, gue mesti nonton ya. Gue mesti lihat yang mana? Oke, gue gak lihat nih, gue ikut orang aja. Our first world premiere trailer uh, is a game that was just announced earlier this year at an inside Xbox event from Bandai Namco. This is Scarlet Nexus. Scarlet Nexus. Oh, oke, okay. Scarlet Nexus, sure. Gue, bentar ya. Gue sampai mati, pokoknya gue sampai sampai. Sampai. have to be prepared for anything. Intruders were just detected. Okay, karakter waifu-nya kelihatan. Aku cari, aku cari. Eh, uh, anggur cari, anggur cari, anggur cari. We have to work together. Karakter waifu baru. Or the world will be destroyed. We have so many different powers. Let's do this. Mau ngapain sama Apple? Mau ngapain sama Apple? Mau ngapain sama Apple? Sabar ya guys, sabar ya. Gue tau ini tidak optimize. <laughs> Oke, okay, sebenernya udah kelihatan waifu-waifu. Apple jeruk, Apple jeruk pisang, Apple jeruk pisang. Apa jeruk pisang? Shit, cherry mana? Gak ada mid Oke Kita ikut orang aja Wah, Apa jangan jangan showcase terlalu banyak, come on Si Hanu Padetya, bentar ya, bentar Ethan just now joining us, this is the Gamescom opening night live 2020 pre-show That was a trailer for a video game and not an anime And I'm Kyle Boss, I'm not important For the next 20 minutes, Ayah, buran, less buran, than, much less than now, we are counting down the minutes until the big show, opening night live, in which you're going to get fresh looks at Full yeah, no, Guys Season 2, Destiny 2, yeah, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War was just Lebih announced yesterday, so, we're already going to so, see so, more of that tonight, notes. lots of things to see, Sydney Goodman from IGN is going to be giving out the Gamescom Awards for Best PC Game, Best PlayStation Game, Best Xbox Game, as well as talking about some brand new shows from IGN that they are debuting this week at Gamescom. Oh, sure. Lots okay. of stuff in ONL. It is going to be a chunky, thick show. But in the meantime, for this pre-show, it is time now for another world premiere on our end. The game next that we're going to see is called Quantum Error. And parents, let me warn you now. It's time to put the kids to bed because it's about to get scary as hell in here. Oh, what's up? I don't care if you're in the Western Hemisphere and it is the afternoon. Put the kids to bed. Oh shit! Sorry guys, sorry guys. Well, guys, you're not in the zone. 
Tengok masih nonton sama lihat lihat apa? Mai apa? Oh no. Ya kamu sampai di finish baik kamu bisa nonton kamu. Mata gua sambil lihat ini. Apaan ini? Kontrol. Strawberry, strawberry anggur, strawberry anggur. Come on, come on, come on, jangan gugur di sini. Kontrol apa error namanya? Bukannya ini bukannya udah pernah kelihatan ya? Bukan world premiere gitu. Kapan lagi? Kalau misal lu tu, gua tulis nonton bareng. Games kau open nilai, tapi yang lu tonton di di layar paling gede tu Fall Guys gitu. Oh, please jangan tim, jangan jangan game tim please. Sila betul betul sila macam apa ini bentar sampai Fall Guys gua mati, please bersabarlah. Maaf. Oh shit, drink. Ntar gua mesti ingat. Ntar gua harus lebih kecil ini lagi, karena gua harus liatin ringnya di mana. Oh no, nggak bisa lebih kecil lagi. Yes, bisa lebih kecil lagi. Kita nonton, nonton versi optimis. We've got a lot more world exclusive trailers to go, more pre-show to go, and more Chef Keely. Next up, we have a car brand synonymous with racing and innovation, and a key partner of Gamescom for years. Ford. They're about to exclusively reveal the first ever car made with gamers for gamers. Cars for Check gamers? What the fuck? Ford knows racing. In 2019, we brought our love of racing to gaming, and Team Fordzilla was born. And that was just the beginning. In May, okay, go 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 go. No, no. We designed a car in collaboration with gamers for gaming. This project was a global project. Our team. designers let their imagination go wild. So on to our first ever model. Please welcome our first ever Team Fordzilla Project P1 model. Okay, ini kapan sih? Gua usah fokus. What the fuck is that car? Sumpah itu kuning kencang banget, man. Kontribusi kecil tapi semuanya emas. <laughs> Itu mobil di game atau like in literally car? And now our second global announcement. You got us so excited with Project P1 that we are now committing to make a real world version of this groundbreaking car. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Mereka mau announce mobil baru. Shit, gua akan kalah. Tim gua akan kalah. If I didn't have games, I think I guess I would just be writing a lot more. Video games and writing are absolutely my two favorite passions, and I just managed to combine them into a job. So I feel like honestly, I probably would have finished a couple of books. Same, bro. There is no game. What else would I do? I mean, I'm a. I like tech, but you need to do things on the technology. Hey, can we finish this? Come on. Hey. Okay. Thank you. If I wasn't into gaming. Yeah, it'll be a lot. Si kalau cakap semua masih kalau merasa awak. Muntah lagi, muntah. Kita sudah hampir. Alis dua cakap terakhir. I probably would start to game. I think I will try something to put some smile on the face of everyone. Fuck off. I would watch a lot more movies and read more books and get bored. This is only the second year. Apa kau boleh lihat jalur gua bentar? But I think it is safe to say that this year is going to be unconventional. So to tell us what to expect from the show this year, please welcome Jeff Keighley. Okay. We are now joined by Jeff Keighley, host and executive producer of Opening Night Live. Jangan ada yang tarik gua. Hi, you and Jeff. I'm doing great, Kyle. How are you? I'm doing okay. Uh. So, back in April, Gamescom said we're going digital this year. When did you start thinking about O N L and how that's going to look? Well, we knew last year we were going to do another O N L this year because it was a big success. But yeah, we had no idea what format it was going to take. Normally, we are in Cologne. This year, we're doing it uh, from Los Angeles. But I actually, 
Gamescom came to me and said, we definitely want to do ONL. It's a, it's a digital event yes, for the whole world. Everybody. So even if we don't have something physically in Germany, we still want to do this show with you. And I said I was doing Summer Game Fest, and maybe we can bring all these things together to create this grand finale uh, for the show. And, and all summer, I was really hoping to to do a show that was a little bit bigger than I've been you know, broadcasting get on, get on, get on. from home here for many months. And I wanted to do something with kind of a set and a little bit of spectacle to it uh, and bring the whole industry together. And that's, that's what we're gonna do. So is it gonna be just as long as a regular show? Yeah, <laughs> we have like two hours of stuff to show folks um, from across the industry. You know, like the big stuff, uh, the biggest games out there like Call of Duty, and then a lot of really, uh, you know, interesting titles. Of course, we're gonna have uh, some amazing next-gen stuff. Hey, get us another! I already did it on the Baron Gamescom opening like two or three over the past couple of weeks. So it's it's really fun to have like the big and the small and the the, the surprises and next-gen all blended together. But yeah, it's a it's a full-blown show, two hours. Is it gonna be just back-to-back -back trailers, or are you gonna do some interviews and demos? You you will definitely see trailers. You will see some extended okay, gameplay focus, uh, demos uh, bro, um, of some titles tenang, as well. Tenang, tenang, there will be a few interviews with a couple of developers. Uh, see, you know, it's 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 and one thing I will say, kind of, is that this opening, is not like, sort of wall-to-wall -wall shock and awe announcements ada, of new games ada. similar to last year at Gamescom. We have some really big updates on games that fans are excited about uh, and meaningful, but, you know, the kind of big uh, surprise announcements. Uh, we have a few things on the show, and, 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 you know, we have some great things planned for the Game Awards, but similar to last year, this is really a showcase of, like, big holiday games, games coming next year that you know about. So, you know, I, I would tell people to set their expectations to be really meaningful updates uh, on existing got games got versus got versus blowing you away with, uh, you know, surprise shock <laughs> announcements. Great. Jeff, I'm personally uh, looking forward to the show. Well, that, me too. It's It's been really fun to build this, but, you know, even working with our team, it's been challenging um, to do things so, in the, the era of, of COVID. And it's been, it's been, it meant a lot to me that Gamescom has said we still want to do this show, and I think for all of us in the industry, we want that big uh, showcase. So I'm just really excited to honestly, like, leave home, do, like, uh, uh, have a set. And you'll see we've got, like, screens and lights, and it's it's... If we do it right, we're going to hopefully create that magic moment that we haven't felt this summer, right? And a lot of the events this summer have been oh, okay. pre-taped and they've been, they've been great and, and lots of cool game info, but uh, I really wanted to do something live so with a lot of energy to uh, it. So Very cool. Good luck with everything. Thanks, Kyle. Thanks for hosting the pre-show. I'm, I'm doing my best. <laughs> So just so we're all on the same page about what just happened, that was basically an interview with my boss using yeah, questions that I mostly already know the answers to. So considering all that, I think that went pretty well. <laughs> Next up, we do have another world premiere trailer, baby. Vroom, vroom, honk, honk for Dirt 5. What premiere? Dirt 5 bukannya udah sering banget di trailer ya? Mungkin trailernya kali ya world premiere, tapi bukan announcementnya gitu. Ah, uh, mungkin mereka showcase uh, playground sih ada pertama kali. Ya. Kau 
udah udah announce bakal ada TGA di game Overwatch tahun ini sih harusnya kebanyakan kayak huge announcement kayak ada Dream Alliance harusnya di di apa di uh, sucked out gas harusnya ada di uh, to be continued di game Overwatch it is now time for the part of the pre-show that I've been I've been reading your live comments well, I, I see yes, them right uh, now confirm. everybody's ada, blowing uh, up di, demanding Kyle's 10 reasons to be excited for opening night live Well, let's kick it off. Reason Market number 10 to be excited, excited for opening Night Live 2020. Feeling uh, excited for next gen again. Uh, jangan berharap ada informasi soal Elder Scroll 6 sama sekali sampai Star uh, Field keluar. Jadi, uh, kalau misalnya termasuk orang yang nungguin Elder Scroll 6, itu game tidak akan dibicarakan sampai Star Field keluar. Jadi, Star Field aja kita masih belum tahu gameplaynya kayak gimana. Kita belum tahu rilisnya kapan. Kita even nggak tahu apa itu Starfield gitu jadi Bethesda udah confirm kalau mereka akan ngobrol di Elder Scrolls 6 setelah Starfield keluar jadi jangan pernah berharap ada Elder Scrolls 6 jangan menyuarakan di sosmed kayak wey gue mau Elder Scrolls 6 sampai Starfield udah ketahuan apaan udah tersedia di pasaran baru kita bisa ngobrol soal ES6 ya bisa dibilang itu trailer yang terlalu cepat dikeluarin dari Scrolls 6 jadi jadi jangan berharap banyak be described as dinosaurusy enjoy you think that things are going to turn out differently huh well the ones before you did too because they believed that they were in control and control well Here's the thing. Humanity is desperate for it. We are seduced by it. Can you imagine we never really simulated? It. You see, life can be tenacious and stubborn. Life will not be contained. And what makes us such unique creatures is knowing the power of what we're up against and still believing that we can win. That's it. That's all we have for you in this very pre-show. Please okay. be excited for the actual opening night live in which you'll see some Destiny 2, you'll see Fall Guys Season 2, you'll see Black Ops Cold War, that mysterious PlayStation 5 demo, some things we've probably never heard of before. I think it's going to be a very good show. I'm personally excited about it. Me! I should thank you, actually, for putting up with my nonsense for the last 20 minutes. It is appreciated, but seriously, enjoy the show. Show me the stage, man. So what's the plan? It's time to take control of our world. When we feel going out of place, disconnected, and divided. There are always repercussions. Do we have what it takes? All right, I'm going in. To be heroes? What we're doing here could change things forever. Tonight, we bring the world together. You're with us now. We celebrate who we are. Yes, it's humanity's chance to repent. And what we are. I'm with you every step of the way. The future of gaming. Welcome to Gamescom, opening night live. Show me the panggung. Udah lama gak ada panggung ya. Hello everyone, I'm oh, Jeff Keighley and welcome oh, to okay. Gamescom Opening Night Live 2020. Now this year, Gamescom is of course a little Bye different physical. than normal and I hope all of you and your families are Bye safe and healthy physical. at home. In 2020, games have comforted and connected us more than ever. And with the yeah, launch of PlayStation it's 5 it's and it's Xbox it's Series X later this year, games are only going to get better. Well, all summer, I was hopeful we could get to this very moment, a big live showcase filled with more than 35 games to kick off Gamescom 2020. Tonight, you'll get a first look at Fall Guys Season 2 and an extended gameplay demo of Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart for PlayStation 5. Plus, we might have a couple surprises along the way, too. 
But before we start, I want to acknowledge and thank all the game developers, marketers, and publishers who have worked under challenging circumstances to keep us entertained. This show is nothing without them or my production team, and doing a show at this scale safely is not easy, Ugh. especially when all of you at home have some pretty insane expectations. I hope tonight reminds you why you love to play games. And with that, we're going to move on to our first game, yeah. with a game that was just announced yesterday, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. And joining me is Dan Vondrack from Raven <laughs> to tell us about the game and give you an exclusive sneak peek. Bisa, bisa, Dan, how you doing? Uh, bikin karate lo sendiri, kan? Terus, uh, mereka confirm Good, bisa, Jeff. Thanks for having me here. This is a, neutral, been a dream karate. project for us to work on from, the, uh, from nearly the beginning of development. We knew Black Ops Cold had, uh, War was going to be a direct sequel that, to Black Ops right. 1, and we loved the idea of returning to the pillars built the Black Ops franchise. Deniable operations, conspiracy grounded in history, and that shadowy world of paranoia. And we get to mix all those together, drop the player into the 1980s at the height of the Cold War, and it's really something that we know would feel relevant to today and also uniquely Black Ops. Well, you start playing with Black Ops, everyone wants to know characters. We saw yesterday in the reveal trailers, you know, some familiar faces. So, you yeah, know, Woods, be, Mason, like, break it down. Yeah, okay, um, how yeah. does this fit into the Black Ops canon? You said it's a direct sequel, so are we going to see a lot of familiar faces? Okay, ini masih ini aku kecil. Jadi, yeah. Uh, ada usaha untuk, untuk, untuk uh, mereka bilang mereka mau nawarin karakter, karena lu bisa customize karakter lu sendiri di, di campaign katanya. Mereka mau bikin gender neutral, jadi kayak, kayak lu nggak bisa define katanya itu cewek atau cowok. Itu sesuatu yang, yang well, kalau lu kenal gue, gue terbuka pada itu uh, pilihan. Tapi, Pushing the storytelling and kind of apa ya, kayak bukan masalah narasi ya, tapi kontras antara ketika lu nyensor trailer lu untuk untuk menuhin keinginan pemerintah Cina sampai lu delete trailer lu, terus lu ganti sama trailer satu menit yang ngebuang uh, porsi kerusuhan Tiananmen-nya, sama usaha untuk ngobrol kayak, hey, gue tuh, uh, kita tuh uh, nge-push uh, soal kesetaraan gender, kita mau bikin kata gender neutral, lu bisa pilih tuh kayak, kayak bullshit gitu loh, kayak lu nge-push sesuatu yang yang bullshit untuk menyenangkan uh, kelompok tertentu ketika di sisi lain aktivitas lu di di, di terlalu sebelumnya tuh udah jelas kalau bisa kayak lu nggak peduli banyak soal itu konsep, lu nggak peduli soal dalam tanda kutip keadilan sosial atau kesetaraan sosial ketika lu misalnya ngebuang trailer lu untuk untuk menuhin apa yang pemerintah Cina dan gamer-gamer di Cina yang notabene memang konsumen gede buat menuhin itu gitu jadi kayak Berita soal soal karakter lebih bisa gender neutral ini jadi kayak fuck <laughs> ya, fancy ini kayak marketing doang story and with these features we love playing homage to those early Black Ops games. Oh yeah, I remember the numbers. All right, uh, well, Dan, uh, we are excited to see more of it. I know multiplayer reveal is coming in September, but uh, since you got a switch there, maybe you could flip the switch on something exclusive for us. Right? What are you gonna see? Is that Missy, please? Missy, Missy? Yeah, absolutely. This is really exciting because this will be the first time we've done this outside the walls of the development studio. This is a scene from earlier in the game, and it's a critical point that really shows the narrative of the world, shows this threat that our heroes are going to be battling. So let's take a look. Okay, Missy, Missy, first time I'm playing. Let's do it. 1943. Detailed information from the Manhattan Project was stolen from Los Alamos by the Russian spy known as Perseus. 1968, the Vietnam War. Viet Cong soldiers orchestrated by Perseus attempted to steal an American-made nuclear bomb from a U.S. firebase. Five days ago, while on a mission, we acquired intel that Perseus is in play again and planning an attack on the West. Perseus, the CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. Mr. Hudson, we're all aware of Perseus. We're also aware he's more myth than fact. I mean, personally, I think he's nothing more than the Russian boogeyman. General Haig, allow me to introduce the man who is suited to respond to that. CIA clandestine special officer, Russell Adler. 
He's one of the few people who even come close to capturing Perseus. Uh, Mr. Adler, why should we take this Perseus threat seriously? You don't have to, sir. <laughs> yeah, but then a lot of innocent people are gonna die. Why do you say that? Sir, every time Perseus has come into play, it's shifted the balance of the Cold War. And after 13 years of silence, if he's active, something big is gonna happen. <gasps> something that will affect the free world. Mr. President? Mr. President. Sir. Mr. President. Mr. President, this is Jason Hudson and Russell Adler. I know their names. Who do you think approved their last mission? Well, are you gonna is the threat real? Yes, sir, we believe it is. Can you stop Perseus? We can, sir. I've already submitted the requisition for my team. Sir, their requests are highly irregular, most likely illegal. If the press gets a hold... What the hell are you talking about? Do you know who we are? Every mission we go on is illegal. Sergeant Woods, plausible deniability is the backbone of our work. Al, we're talking about preventing an attack on the free men and women Ooh, of the okay. world. Okay. Give Mr. Adler whatever he wants. Okay. Gentlemen, you've been given an important task, protecting our very way of life from a great evil. There is no higher duty. There is no higher honor. And while few people will know of your struggles, rest assured, the entire free world will benefit. I know you won't fail us. Perseus. My Perseus. Tonight we have some new game announcements for you guys as well, including this one, a new sí, next-gen narrative action-adventure game from Reflector Entertainment in Montreal. It's called Unknown 9. The game tells the story of Haruna, a woman raised on the streets of India and haunted by visions of her own death. Haruna struggles to understand her mysterious, innate abilities to manipulate the unseen. Check out this first look. Ooh. Anapurna? And Anapurna. Yeah, I guess I think it. Masih cinematic gak ada gameplay tapi gue suka setting ya paling Apapun yang bukan Amerika, oke okay. Masih gede ya Unknown 9 Vector, next generation console berbeda ini kok jadi bule All right, let's get to the gameplay. One of this year's biggest games has been Doom Eternal. Tonight, we've got an exclusive first look at the campaign expansion called The Ancient Gods Part 1. Check this out. We have been allies for some time now. Oh boy.
resurrect the only ones who can save this world. What is that thing here? Oh, what's it about? Marauder dah biji kamu. Oh, cuma satu Marauder di mana? Kamu bisa langsung dua biji langsung. Thank you. Fuck you. 2020 marks the 25th anniversary of a legendary game studio, BioWare. Tonight, Casey Hudson and the team wanted to give everyone around the world a little taste of what's next. Casey. Over to you. Dragon Age, please. Hey, Dragon Jeff, Age. It's great to see you again. Atau Anthem baru. You know, six years ago, Dragon we Edge, were on please. the stage with you at the 2014 Game Awards, accepting the Game of the Year for Dragon Age Inquisition. Yes, thank you. And since then, we've been imagining new ways to use next-generation technology to bring the world and characters of Dragon Age to life. We're still in early production, but we thought it was time to give you the very first look at how Bioware's passionate team of developers are crafting this very special game. Give me the frostbite next game, frostbite next game. Oh, go guys, we're at the Ganesh Empath. I've been at Bioware for a really long time, so I've got to see it grow up. Go like from the Ganesh Empath. I'm just going to put it on the other side. I'm just going to put it on the other side. In the industry, there's amazing stories to be told with other people. I love that character so much. We're very experimental here at Bioware, so we're always coming up with new stuff. We're always trying to improve, innovate, and bring new characters to life for our players and fans to enjoy. The world of Dragon Age really has got it all. It's got frontier stories, it's got mystery, it's got hard-boiled detective stories. And of course, it's all wrapped up in kind of a fantasy setting. You really feel like you're the hero in the Dragon Age world and you're saving people. Dragon Age to me is a wonderful world to play in. I am really excited about the future of Dragon Age. Oh, okay. This is an original world. Original flora, original wildlife, original architecture. That makes it fun to explore and discover. In the next Dragon Age, you get an opportunity to to see new things, new places, and interact with people who lived and grew up in these spaces as well. For the game we're working on now, we want to tell a story. What happens when you don't have power? What happens when the people in charge aren't willing to address the issues? The things that you can expect in the next installment are going to be stories that focus on the people around you and the friends and family you make. Something that we'll be able to look forward to in Dragon Age is a really close relationship with game characters okay, who really plan. become real for you. We want characters to either be loved or hated. One of the best examples of that is Solus. Half the community wants to kill him, half the people want to marry him, and another part <laughs> wants to do both. They call me the Dread Wolf. What will they call you when this is over? Bioware and EA has been one of the forerunners in using motion magic technology, and that makes it way more realistic when you're looking at the characters and the way they walk and move and interact in the world. Players want in that suspension of disbelief that this wonderful collection of digital pixels is actually a living, breathing soul. Oh. No, 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 it's okay. That's the good kind of rumble. I actually design bosses. I help with the creature design team as well. So I do all of like the big threats that you have to go up against. Nobody dies on my watch. For the Wardens! Choice is a big part of what Dragon Age is as a franchise. The decisions you make can affect change in the world. Decision making can mean that a party member lives or a party member dies. And it means owning your outcome and reactivity to the choices that you do make. I just love the possibilities that Dragon Age offers us and I'm excited to explore a lot more of them. To me, that potential is what gets you up in the morning. 
It's a fantastic opportunity every time. Kita sama dia tahap bisa announcement pakai konsep art doang. Wow, wait, you're uh what what's his name? Back to the future. I'm Emil Brown, Doctor of Physics. Not a game baru gitu, Back to the Future. Not that quack from Rick and Morty. Yeah, we know who you are, but what Jeff, are you doing here? I did come back from the future to this precise moment on August 27, 2020, because it's imperative we launch Surgeon Simulator 2 right now. And what exactly do you have to do with Surgeon Simulator? <laughs> During the mid-20th century, some friends of mine from a large Shire University invented a state-of-the-art medical training facility, otherwise known as the Surgeon Simulator okay, Training Program. Now, 70 years later, we've digitized the experience. It's unbelievable. You can access the program through your computer okay. and be medically trained from the comfort of your keyboard. Oh, it's bisa appreciate the pendekatan unik gitu guys sekarang. This very moment. Tonight, I want a world premiere, a few examples of some of the incredibly successful test subjects who have already completed the program. What are you saying? But this kind of does you saying a world premiere will save our future? Only time will tell. And speaking of time, I'm off to another world premiere. Avengers 26, The Return of the Son of Thanos, opening 2077. And with that, I leave the fate of the human race in your hands. Just like hey, sure you play boy. Surgeon Simulator 2. Now, doctor's orders. No, fella, but no. Oh, that's what he said! No! Let's give him a little pat on the head. Where does this pat go? There, we got it. He looks good as new. Now grab the good arm and put it in here! We're dying! He's dying! Oh, no! I don't know if that's not right! My finger slipped! He gets the run! Oh, it came out! It came out! Jesus Christ! Put it back! Oh, it just came out! Oh, it's a guy! He's perfect! He's perfect! We saved it! You guys do it. You gotta be safe. Doc Brown introducing Jack Septicai playing Surgeon Simulator only on opening night live. All right, well, if you thought that crossover was kind of crazy, wait until you get a load of this next game announcement that I don't think anyone probably saw coming. Check this out. Well, guys, first, I'll buy. Yep. Bro, hold up. Stalker recorded. Oke, okay, ketika mereka bilang terus ijennya bilang kalau lu nggak kayak aspek ini kolaborasi ya, yes, gue nggak aspek ini kolaborasi. Bruce Constructor versus The Walking Dead, what the fuck? 
Tonight is just the start of Gamescom 2020. Over the next three days, there are more streams from IGN and Webedia with in-depth looks at games, a digital cosplay contest, and some special new shows just for Gamescom. Your portal for all things Gamescom this year is Gamescom Now, which you can check out at gamescom.global. Now, one game you'll hear more about later on IGN's post-show is this one, a return of two classic characters that I love. Check this out. In a world gone strange, one elite force stands against the darkness. Oh, see, I'm seeing it. But even they could use some help. Here, slip on this little beauty for effect. Oh, hello, miss. The return of Sam and Max. Yes. All right. And now it's time to say hello to my wonderful co-host for ONL from IGN. Please say hello to Sydney Goodman. Thank you, Jeff. What's up, everyone? I'm Sydney Goodman, and I am thrilled to be here. Gamescom is always such a fun event, and throughout the show tonight, I'll be telling you about all the different ways that IGN is involved in this year's festivities. But first, I have an award to announce. The winner of Best Nintendo Switch Game is Little Nightmares 2. Huge congratulations. Like I said, IGN is going to be here for all of Gamescom with great Boom, shows such it. as the Gamescom Studio, where you can find me and my co-hosts for all day long games content, interviews, dev talks, and more. Plus, we have Gamescom Awesome Indies, the show with and for indie developers. That premieres yeah, Saturday, nice. August 29th at oh, 7 p.m. Central uh, European time, so be sure to tune in for more announcements and special guests. And now, let's go back to Jeff for our next big world premiere. Awesome. Thank you so much, Sid. Uh, we are so excited to see what's in the uh, the Gamecom studio and also awesome indies. And I'm going to be on the Daily Show tomorrow, so looking forward to that. All right, well, on to our next game. In the next World of Warcraft expansion, players will journey beyond the mortal world of Azeroth to a place where no living soul has set foot before. The Shadowlands, the afterlife of an entire Warcraft universe. The infinite realms of the Shadowlands are watched over by different factions, known as Covenants, each holding dominion over a different aspect of the afterlife. And depending on how someone lived their mortal life, they may end up as part of one of these Covenants when they cross over into the Shadowlands. Today, we're excited to give you a closer look at the noble and pure Kyrian Covenant from the realm of Bastion, who are charged with carrying the souls of the dead into the beyond. So sit back and get ready for the world premiere of Bastion, the first in Blizzard Entertainment's new four-part series of animated shorts called Afterlife. Oh, okay, okay. Enjoy. Oh, this is uh, cinematic. Sure. I can dig it. Cinematic Blizzard. Guardian, yeah. Oh, okay. Even animative. <laughs> Selfless life, and for that, you have been chosen. Chosen? To shed your mortal burdens and join the ranks of the Ascended, serving to ferry the souls of the dead unto the Shadowlands. I serve the light, and my work is not done. That must be. There is no evil here. The darkness was sealed within the Maw long ago. You're wrong. 
He destroyed my home, murdered my people and my king. He must be punished. You are an aspirant now. You must accept your new purpose and purge yourself of this desire for vengeance. What I desire is justice. Devos, why are you training this soul? It is beneath your station as a paragon. He cannot let go. He continues to demand retribution for his death. And this concerns you? Many souls take eons to ascend. Yes, but this one seems broken, Thenios. Unlike any soul I have seen, I have begun to wonder whether he was deemed worthy of Bastion. By mistake. Be careful, Devos. I would not let the Archon hear such a thought. In time, he will forget. Trust our ways. Trust the path. Devos. How long must we train? Until you are ready to ascend. And what is keeping me from ascension? Nothing but the memory of your mortal life. How can I forget when I can still feel his blade? Come on. Your soul is wounded? Who did this to you? He was my student. He betrayed us all. Show me. <sighs> the runes on his blade were unmistakable. This dark age <laughs> runs free on a mortal world with the power of the Maw itself in hand. Our realm is imperiled. Impossible. The Maw is inescapable. You must return to the path. If he had purged his life, we never would have known of this calamity. The path is flawed. Enough! The order of the Shadowlands depends on the execution of our eternal charge. You will abandon this course. As you command, my Archon. Now we are going to go to the next level. That would be awesome. It is 2 hours. The game is coming up in real life. It's 2 hours already. The time of your ascension has come. I thought I was not ready. Do you wish to see him punished? I do. Then prepare yourself. The moment he falls. We will claim him. I see. Only darkness. Sekarang mungkin gak akan pandemi gak ada budget buat sedang tinggi bisa jadi Atau bukan budget ya, mungkin kayak Ya bisa jadi budget sih Karena gue gak tau kalo misalnya kayak proses pengembangan CGI nya si Blizzard Itu butuh motion capture dan sebagainya atau engga Tapi event ini, ini solusi yang lumayan lebih terjangkau harusnya Oke, 
selesai eh, tepuk tangan semua tepuk tangan eh enggak tepuk tangan taruh kita kasih trailer yang begini lagi loh next ya si kami dua belas bapak sama tadi gue gak tau komentar apa karena gue gak Got to love me some of Lord yeah walk around. All right, hope you guys enjoyed that exclusive look at Bastion. Now we know many of you can't wait to experience Shadowlands and our friends at Blizzard want you to know the wait is almost over. Jangan ngomongin soal Blizzard latar belakang. Saya enggak gameplay, lagi apa ya? Oke. Saya mau mandi kafein semoga ada scroll enam lagi. Aduh, begini lagi. Aduh, menjelaskannya malas. Jangan bayar baru sama ES enam bro. October twenty seven. Sampai Starlight Starfield keluar. We have so much more opening night live still to go for you. Ratchet and Clank, PlayStation five, much more. Stay tuned. All right, but now it's time for the announcement of a new universe that is coming to gaming for the first time with a project from a Canadian studio. Check this out. Adik Indi, come on. They have returned. They corrupted. Divided. Conquered. Until finally, the gates of the celestial realm were thrown open. Our last remaining hope, the Stormcast Eternals. Vengeance made manifest. Gue juga gak familiar sama Warhammer Tapi kayaknya uh, banyak yang kayak, kayak setuju kalau kalau epic ceritanya si Warhammer Terus ini gak, gak terlalu familiar Temen gue ada yang di kantor kayak si Bobby lumayan aktif baca Now you guys may remember Sorry, back in June I had some masked fun with my buddy Crash Bandicoot announcing Crash 4 It's About Time With the game coming in October, Crash of course had to come back for opening night live So let's bring him out everybody, Crash Bandicoot Orang dengan kostum itu what? He's where? Dia ke Jerman. Crash apparently didn't get the memo about Gamescom, but to tell us more about what we just saw, I'm joined by Lou Studdert from Toys for Bob. Uh, Lou, w what did we see there with uh, Crash see, and the Gamescom yeah, bot? <laughs> Uh, apparently you saw him wandering around Cologne, but uh, what he was hinting at was kind of our reveal of what we call flashback tapes, which are a brand new style of level that we are announcing here today. Okay, so uh, how do these flashback levels kind of play into the overall Crash 4 narrative? Yeah, so the way that the, the flashback tape levels work is that they are kind of a peak back in time to the 90s when Neocortex was actually testing on Crash and Coco before the events of Crash Bandicoot 1. And they're kind of these devious puzzle rooms that we've made, uh, and they're 
really hard and they're really awesome and they're super creative and we can't wait to uh, get people's hands on them. Yeah, no, I, I, I got to play a demo of this a few weeks ago and that was a challenge, so I can't imagine um, how nefarious these are. Um, how are they going to be sort of integrated into the game? Are they are they optional, like offshoot stuff, or how do you, how do you get to them? Sure. So players actually have to collect the flashback tapes in the levels themselves. Uh, they're an object that they can pick up, and to actually pick them up, they have to reach them in the level without dying. It's uh, kind of our homage to the death routes from the original trilogy. So players have to reach these objects in the level, pick them up, and then once they get them, they'll get access to these unique levels. So beyond the pure challenge, uh, what other fun? So how, how are these fun for players to kind of experience? And what do they get to do in them? Sure. So one of the things that we did was we actually used these as, like I said, puzzle rooms, really kind of fun, nefarious, devious ways for Crash to really express that pure platforming kind of uh, aspect of gameplay that we know and love about the franchise. But then narratively for us, it was really cool to layer in kind of a unique perspective to the franchise. This is the moment when oh. Cortex is really excited about the prospect of Crash being on his team because Crash was originally created by Cortex, and so this is a weird point in time that's never really been explored in the games before. Awesome. All right. Well, Crash 4, it's about time. Looks phenomenal, Lou. Uh, we cannot wait to check it out uh, in October. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Awesome. All right. Well, we will be right back after this for more Gamescom Opening Night Live. Ah, uh, so far. Uh. All right, there's I have become terror. You can't find me. The unseen predator. You can't find me A rupture. <laughs> that obliterates without warning. The game is a sarusi. Sama. No, I don't want to say trailer sama screen. The horde of Enoch will fall before me. Okay, Gagal. What impressed. But together, we will find the source. Welcome to the hyperscape. Hyperscape. my hyperscape? download As a champion. apakah sudah bisa disebut sebagai gagal hyperscape? Oh, sudah apakah di di timeline gua juga kayak enggak ada aktif my hyperscape itu. Penasaran seberapa banyak orang main Si apa si uh, Ubisoft juga nggak announce kayak seberapa banyak uh, jumlah user dan sebagainya Oke okay, ini ini oke okay. I dig this ini oke okay. Saya suka ini suka saya Gue baru keluar reviewnya kalau misalnya lo tertarik uh, baca reviewnya baru kota di Jakarta play Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Welcome to Necromunda. I can see you're new here. Let me get you up to speed. The Underhive's named well. A sprawl of humanity suffering away like ants. Deep underground where we ain't causing trouble but are rich boys and girls, no matter how loud we are. And do we ever make some noise? Every Orlock says they can see the tail of a lashwork and that's you have been 20 bases per second. I don't want to say immortal, 
but okay, when they're the on the blood, skin and will are of iron, <laughs> it's a potent combo. <laughs> Why would someone like you want to know about an all-female gang of psychopaths, drug dealers, killers, cloners and... Oh, makes sense. An Escher will cut you up just for the fun of it. Goliaths are big. That's it. Anything smaller than them doesn't deserve to live. And they're just as happy filling you with lead as they are smashing you to pieces with a power mole. Now, mixing that whole pot together in a place like this, you can imagine what happens. Chaos. Gang warfare. For wealth. For power. Hell, sometimes just for fun. So, think you're ready? Necromunda under Hype Wars comes to PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC on September 8th. O futuro dos jogos, Sim, além de realidades é virtuais, é extremamente é dignas e realistas, uh, eu acho que também bacana. se encontra em formas mais Colo expressivas e absurdas, que quebrando que cada vez mais esses paradigmas de formato de videogame que, que a gente tem e sendo já, usado mais já, do que nunca tá como uma ferramenta de expressão artística. Eu envisagem o futuro de um jogo ser bem Uh, and system quite online. The, the next generation of consoles will clearly allow AAA and indie developers to build more creative-driven games that I hope will cover more diverse subjects. I want to play all kinds of stories about people and places, both real and imagined. I want comedy games, I want autobiographical games. I really want to see what people can do in the future of games, I see a evolution of the game graphic, but I see a more evolution of the intelligence artificial e na maneira com a qual a gente interage com os games tudo em busca de experiências mais imersivas. You know, one of the things I love about opening night is that we can show you the biggest games in the industry and also smaller titles that should be on your radar. So pay attention to this next game. It comes from a team of two in Sweden, Tuxedo Labs. Over the past three years, developer Dennis Gustafsson has built his own game engine to realize his vision for a fully destructible game world. What he's building has absolutely blown me away, so I asked Dennis to prepare a special trailer just for tonight. I hope you're equally inspired inspired by the ideas in this next game, definitely one to watch. Teardown. Okay, Minecraft will be advanced either. Okay, Minecraft will be P6. Last year at Opening Night Live, we oh, announced man. Little Nightmares 2 to the world. Well, the team at Tarsier Studios hasn't shown anything since, but that changes right now. Okay. Here is a first look at the gameplay of Little Nightmares 2, which is coming next February, with more to come throughout the week at Gamescom, including a live demo on Gamescom Studio tomorrow. Yes. Tapi harusnya bakal ada versi next gen-nya juga sih kalau misalnya Februari. 
Nice. All right. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Pagi kan, come on. Harusnya ada juga harusnya, kok Februari Pass 5 harusnya Oh enggak Oh Mau kan? Tadi mana sebut dari sana Si anime kalau percaya Ghost is real Sana percaya sih enggak, enggak percaya Cuman Gue sendiri suka ngalamin kejadian supranatural gitu Gimana gitu, walaupun gue orangnya Agnostic Science Base, tapi kita sendiri pernah ngalamin sesuatu yang nggak bisa dijelasin. This arcade style video game is over the top outrageous with over 70 WWE superstars and legends brawling it out like never before. Oh no, hold on to your toupee, Moro. Look out below. WWE is L I T. You know, I'm a little more old school than Moro, so I can't wait to see these WWE legends. Teach these kids a thing or two. And you know what? Here's a closer look at the insane action. It's a great evening for WWE action. Oh, wow. Take that, Moro. Man, it's so good to see the Bella Twins at their best. And now, let's keep this party rolling with another matchup. Oh, look out, Moro. The Undertaker has risen. And Finn Balor is about to be taken for his last ride. Tahun ini ada game fighting nggak sih? Game nggak ada. How do you lose like that? What's the matter with you, legends? This is just an example of the pandemonium that you're gonna experience when you head to the battlefield. That's a big toy hammer. Oh, I can't believe my eyes. Then you want to see versus Tony? Nggak bukan sih? Bukan ya Tony? This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, video basket play soal main motor ya. Tuh, itu gua rasa sendiri. Ya, cepat mau nggak apa? Sorry, Moro. I know that's your line. Hello again. I have even more awards to announce, so let's get right down to it. The winner of Best Action Adventure Game is Watch Dogs Legion. The city needs a resistance. And it starts with you. What do you say? You must think I check it. Okay, give me a chance. Mereka nentuin siapa yang menang di tengah pandemi kayak gini sih. Kayak gimana lu nentuin? Ini game pada menang kalau belum pernah. Gak ada event fisik mau nyobain gitu. The winner of the best action game is Star Wars Squadrons. Think you can escape? This is gonna be close. The winner of the best multiplayer game is Operation Tango. Operation Tango. It takes two to save the world. Bom, perannya bom. Saya mama dipilih berusaha untuk membaca kalau mungkin. The winner of best indie game is Curious Expedition Two. 
did not oh, believe no. what no. I had witnessed. It was time for the world to learn my name. Congratulations to all the winners. As I mentioned, IGN will be here for all of Gamescom with great shows and new ways for you to get all your gaming news. Check it out. Gamescom 2020 is the heart of gaming, and you can keep to the beat right here on IGN. We've turned the single biggest show in gaming into five. Gamescom Now is your virtual show floor with up to the second live coverage. Gamescom Daily Show, Gamescom's first ever late night talk show, our Gamescom Awesome Indie Show, the freshest deep cuts in indie gaming, and finally, the Gamescom Best of Show, including the Gamescom Award. Gamescom 2020 is available on IGN and wherever you stream Gamescom Now. Are the 10 minute gameplay videos. And now it is time to Star talk about that best Samain. action game winner, Samain. Star Wars Squadrons. This, video this is a new immersive space combat game from Motive Studios that delivers the well, ultimate well, Star Wars pilot well, fantasy. Well, we miss those. In squadrons, you'll suit up and fly for both the New Republic and the Galactic Empire across intense 5v5 multiplayer battles, as well as an all-new, authentic single-player story set after the events of Star Wars Episode VI, Return of the Jedi. Today, we'll get a glimpse of what Squadron's story has to offer by taking a brief look at one of the single-player missions featuring some light narration by the Motive team. Let's check it out. We all choose our path, light or dark. Si, hanya pada itu ni kan buat video dia enggak. Maksudnya, jadi kalau misalnya di di event gaming kayak E3, di Gamescom, di Tegas, di versi normal tanpa pandemi adalah mereka akan nentuin kayak game-game apa yang showcase-nya paling bagus di event itu. Jadi kalau misalnya di kondisi normal, dia tu akan ketemu juri-juri yang ke event dan mereka akan main gamenya langsung. Terus mereka akan pilih kayak, oh dari semua event di di boot, eh semua game di boot yang the best itu adalah Watch Dogs Legion. Jadi mereka pilih via juri, terus dipilih Watch Dogs Legion terbaik di Gamescom, bukan terbaik tahun ini ya, tapi terbaik di Gamescom. Saya kena tahun ini tak bisa. Mereka basisnya pakai gameplay video sepuluh minit untuk setiap game, jadi tentunya caranya beda gitu sekarang. Bukan terbaik tahun ini, tapi terbaik di Gamescom. Change our galaxy for the better. Squadron. Hi, I'm Suzanne Luka. You're the producer on Star Wars Squadrons. Our single-player story is one of daring pilots and deep-seated rivalry. Cuma datang tema-tema begitu jadi kayak sistem kelas strategi kayak bisa ngatur kecepatan, ngatur shield. Lalu mau prioritasin yang mana tu semuanya katanya bikin ini kompetitif, kompetitif habis. And like all modes in Star Wars Squadrons, you'll have the option to experience every mission fully immersed in VR. Where Gentile is, Rogue Squadron. I hear you're the reason I was able to finally get a calm through. Today, we're giving you a glimpse of an early Imperial mission behind enemy lines. One of our spies, Agent Thorn, has discovered vital intelligence on Project Starhawk. Your mission is to extract her from an orbital outpost above Hosni and Prime. Behind enemy lines, you'll have to eliminate perimeter defenses. The outpost is defenseless. When you've secured the area, you will escort the Gladius to the outpost, and our extraction team will acquire Agent Thorn. Once Thorn is secure, reach your Gozanti cruisers and return to the Overseer. Cover our escape and escort us to the jump point. Correct. We have Republic Corvettes inbound. Where is that? The Swagore and the S Combat. Where is that? Change course and keep Agent Thorn safe. Each mission will immerse you into the escalating conflict between the New Republic and a shattered empire. Debrief with your squadmates between missions. You're our new wingmate. Customize and master all eight starfighters and join the galaxy's finest. I need you focused and ready to go. From bombing runs at the Nadiri dockyards to setting a trap in the Xavian Abyss, the story of these rival squadrons will push the war to the brink and define the galaxy for years to come. I look forward to seeing you in combat October 2nd. Ya oke, gue gue main satu sama. Si ada berarti support VR bukan full VR, support VR. Jadi 
Ntar dia akan cross platform. Even dia main pakai VR pun bisa tanding sama That is not VR. all EA has to share from a galaxy far, far away today. At Star Wars Galaxy Edge, you can enter the world of Batu, where you can visit Oga's Cantina or jump into the Millennium Falcon on a run to Smuggler's Cove. It was this incredible adventure at Disneyland Resort and Walt Disney World Resort that inspired The Sims' latest game pack. Check this out. Udah boleh buka emang? Oh, Sims. Kira-kira ini kayak, kayak apa, kayak... Uh, bakal dibawa ke, ke lokasi fisiknya gitu. The Sims Tower Spike. <laughs> the Sims di dunia Star Wars. Kau bisa bisa melihat ini lumayan menarik. What about the last seven or There is even more Star Wars to come later in the show. Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga is up. And as we move into our second hour, we've got Fall Guys Season 2 still to come. The reveal of that, which I can't wait for you guys to see. And of course, a gameplay demo of Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart for PlayStation 5. But right now, you might remember this next game from Annapurna Interactive from last year's Microsoft oh. E3 event. Oh, yeah, yeah. And today, I'm excited Mula to share waktu. a new announcement from the team. This Gone interactive thriller about a man stuck in a time loop is one of this year's Gone most Hawk intriguing yeah. indie titles. And now, they've it's added funny. an absolutely all-star cast to the game. Here's a whole new look at 12 minutes. Please, tahun ini. Gue butuh game keren banget tahun ini. Ditumpuk aja, man, tahun ini. All right, close your eyes. I want you to think of a flower. Look at its contours, its curves. Now I want you to imagine... This will be awesome. Changing. Gone home day. Moving backward. Returning to its bud. Think of that bud. Unopened. Look at it as a whole, then silently repeat these phrases. May you be free from suffering. May you be free from fear. May you know peace and joy. James McAvoy. Oh, we have the fool. What the fuck? Ah, do you want to see coming soon? No. Eh? That's weird. That's going to be a really special indie game. So glad to announce that here on the show. Uh, now, last year at the oh, Game Awards, Godfall. we announced Godfall, a new looter shooter coming to PlayStation 5 and PC from Counterplay. Tonight, we've got a quick sneak peek of one of the new Valor plates with more yeah. footage coming as oh, part yeah, of Gamescom Godfall. 2020. Check this out. Penting, dia lebih penting kayaknya. <laughs> Sampai so, kita pindah ke ini dulu, 30 detik menuju uh, KDA. Sampai lihat ini Garpol, ntar gue kecehin dulu Garpolnya. <laughs> gue pindahin dulu Garpolnya. <laughs> oh, siap opremnya juga dia. No, 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 gue masih nonton yang mana. No, 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 no. 
Gue mesti nonton yang mana? Skywalker Saga Fall Guys Season 2 Oh shit Fall Guys lagi Wait God until it. you see what the Mediatonic guys are up to And so much more But first iklan, I'm iklan, sure iklan, you iklan, saw iklan, that iklan. earlier this week Heart of Deimos Warframe's newest uh, Oh expand- Budu Setan oh, No 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 Budu Setan Warframe <laughs> Budu Setan middle-aged parents who suddenly find they have to do something together with their kids and I think I've given out more advice about video games in 2020 than any other time ever and as a result it's more important than ever that we keep making different interesting things todos. Então, nesse momento eu acho que a gente precisa lembrar de mostrar mais empatia, demonstrar mais amor, mais carinho e saber que a gente vai sair dessa juntos, vai ser difícil, mas isso oh, tudo yeah, vai yeah, yeah. passar. I hope everybody gets healthy and safely yeah, through yeah, this yeah, corona yeah. virus time. Uh, care about other people and wear your masks. Jogos são, na minha opinião pessoal, a forma de arte mais incrível de se expressar. Eles englobam tudo. Música, arte, escrita. E você tem a chance de controlar e vivenciar essas experiências você mesmo. Sim, eu sou o Gabo, eu sou o Gabo. Jogos são por amor.
All right, guys, we're back officially into hour two. We've got an hour more of great stuff to show you. Hour Destiny more? Destiny 2 Beyond Light Stasis. You're going to see a brand new look at that. Fall Guys <laughs> Season <laughs> 2 <laughs> and Ratchet <laughs> and Clank <laughs> for <laughs> PlayStation 5 and <laughs> so much more across the next hour. Opening Night Live continues, and it just is the start of Gamescom 2020. But right now, on September 25th, Mafia Definitive Edition launches a comprehensive, built-from-the-ground-up remake of the original Mafia. Tonight, we We've got the exclusive debut of the next trailer called A Life of Reward Too Big to Ignore, which deals with Tommy's induction into the Salieri crime family. Check this out. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. <laughs> You know what that is, Tommy? They're loyal. That's right. One day you'll boss you your back to rely on this day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the road. And the extra stuff in your pockets for the Salieri's dirty money. Teach these boys a lesson. Break every bone in their bodies. You want me to become one of those Wall Street boys? Don't sass me, Tommy. I'm trying to teach you the ropes so you don't get strangled by them. Now, you stay straight with me. You're going to be living the high life, Tom. You abuse my trust. Don Salieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. Welcome to the family. Next, we're going to introduce you to a turn-based multiplayer strategy <laughs> FPS <laughs> from a team in Montreal, Canada. Lemnis Gate is coming in early 2021 and has a unique mechanic built around a 25-second time loop. Timelinenya doang sama gitu. Ini kan gue sering banget ya di di Facebook gitu. Game. Tapi bajanya gede banget deh sampai bisa iklan di kayak the game kamu bukan di game shop gitu. Saya kan aku pernah aja di Facebook ni, kayaknya. Bukan bukan lebih sikit, lebih sikit nama dia apa lagi? Oh bukan nama game. Next spring, get ready to experience memorable moments and non-stop action from all nine Star Wars films in Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. The entire series has been reimagined with new fun-filled Lego humor, and now we've got your first look at the gameplay trailer. I want to learn the ways of the Force and become a Jedi like my father. The Force is unusually strong with him. That much is clear. Twisted by the dark side, young Skywalker has become. Happy Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. That boy is our last hope. No, there is another. I'm from the Resistance. Your sister Leia sent me. We need your help. Say, let's have a quick one. 
Aku punya kemampuan kaget pun sih. Eh bukan, menghilang apa ya? The force will be with you always. Oh, good yes. Not him, the Falcon. Solo, is it? Oh. Bukan si Yoda tu, Yoda yang cewek. Nama siapa? Lupa aku. Clone Wars. I am a Jedi, like my father before me. So be it, Jedi. Man, Lego Star Wars looks so fun coming to next gen as well. All right, we'll be right back with more world premieres from huge new games like Ratchet and Clank, Rift Apart, Medal of Honor, Above and Beyond, and oh, Destiny yeah, 2. Up. But before that, here's a look at a game that is launching tonight on Nintendo Switch and Steam. It's called Struggling from Frontier, a fun physics-based platformer where up to two players control Troy, our fleshy hero. Check this out, and remember, you can play yeah. this tonight. Okay, they will promote Kandagawa Jets. Oh, they promote Kandagawa Jets. Oh, oh, Game-nya si PewDiePie itu. Valhalla. Eh, bukan deh. Asam Empire 3? Really? Yeah, show me the login or check me the login or check me the login. Beginian dong, jam dua nih, jam dua, jangan beginian dong. Boleh nampak tak? Masalahnya, si Little Witch lagi. Little Hope.
what you call I gotta say, the game that I've given the most hours to that I love going back to is Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I have to say, since Origins came out, this new reboot of Assassin's Creed, uh, so to speak, that was my first time getting into it. And I have put almost 400 hours into Assassin's Creed Odyssey. At the moment, no, I, I enjoy to play Odyssey. Fall Guys uh, with my you know. friends. It's very funny, easy to learn, but hard to master. I have a few games that I binge play, um, games that I return to every year. Uh, Halo, the entire Master Chief Collection, is really a big one for me where that's concerned. But I also still just casually binge Animal Crossing, and I've been doing that basically all year. I haven't put down Animal Crossing oh, since I downloaded it. I find the daily repetitive rhythm so soothing and predictable. Uh, although, much like my house, my island is still a complete tip. <laughs> Up next, we have the award for Best Microsoft Xbox Game. And the winner is Tell Me Why. Tell Congratulations me why. to Don't Not Entertainment. No, 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 well, after a big day of oh, Gamescom events and announcements, you'll be happy to know that IGN is going to help you digest all you. that info with Gamescom Daily Show, where you can get all the daily yeah, highlights and the late night show experience uh, from gamers for gamers. Back to you, Jeff. Thank you very much, Sid. Uh, and by the way, congratulations to Don't Nod for uh, Tell Me Why, a really important game that is out now that you can play um, on Xbox, Xbox and Game Pass. And uh, as we know, there's a lot going on in the world, and that goes beyond the pandemic. Uh, between social conflicts we're seeing in the news and acts of nature, we can see how vulnerable we as people can sometimes be. And now I think it's as important time as ever to remember to come together and support one another. We are a global gaming community. There are millions of people watching tonight, and I know we're all here because we love games, and we know that games are good in the world and can bring us together, and I think we've all felt that in 2020. So I think that's really important to remember amongst all the games and trailers. All right, well, one, gay, uh, one, one way as a community we one can come gay? together to do some good <laughs> is the Gamescom gay? Forest. Gamescom has launched a reforestation project by planting a Gamescom Forest together with the community. Gamers worldwide can go to Gamescom.global and donate to plant more trees. So let's plant a forest together. All right, well, now we're going to move on to another game, and this one was announced back in May. Chorus is a dark space combat shooter where players take control of Nara on a quest to destroy the dark cult that created her, featuring rich, ray-traced 4K 60 FPS environments on next-gen hardware. Here is the first look at gameplay from Chorus. Chorus? Chorus? You have broken my heart for your betrayal. You will be Olha ele parece ter mais do que eu quero, tinha mais força ou não? É, mas você não sei se mano. É? Pode. How yeah. many crowns have you won? If one game has defined the summer of 2020, it absolutely is Fall Guys from Mediatonic in London and Devolver. This game is setting records and putting a much needed smile on everyone's face. Fall Guys, smile? I think, represents smile? our industry at its absolute <laughs> best. Well, soon the Fall Guys experience will evolve with season two. There's a lot of new stuff coming and tonight, Mediatonic is about to give you an exclusive sneak peek at what's next. Get ready. I think the internet is about to freak out. Here it is, Fall Guys Season 2. 
Gimme, 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 gimme. Hey, I'm Joe, I'm the lead game designer on Four Guys Ultimate Knockout, and I just want to reach out and say thank you to everyone who's been playing and enjoying the game so far. As a team, we've been looking at all the fan arts, the memes, and the montages that people have been posting online, and the response to the game has really blown us away. Today, we just wanted to give everyone their first sneak peek at the rounds and the costumes that they can be enjoying as part of Four Guys Season 2. Oh, the Naga? Oh, this is a stash battle. In Season 2, you'll be dressing your full guy as a medieval hero and competing across brand new rounds inspired by epic quests from the Middle Ages. Traverse giant drawbridges, dodge swinging axes, and scale movable seed ramps in the quest for ultimate game show glory. Oh, oh this is a ring, but it's the promotion. <laughs> Mesti kerja sama gitu. Okay, I think this. Okay. Orang lain yang kebangun, gua akan lompat. We hope you've enjoyed the sneak peek of Fall Guys Season 2. We're still adding the finishing touches to development, but if you want to stay up to date, then at Fall Guys Game on Twitter is where you want to be. So you on the start line. Saya dua tema yang berbeza. Okay. My father has Colorado in the palm of his hand, and he's afraid to close his fist. I am not. Liberty's got more brains and cunning than both her brothers put together. She's the only one who could actually run Colorado. She's already tried once. Vic's a depraved child, and Val's a brain without a spine. The years my father wasted grooming them for glory when I was right there. Arizona Rangers, and I'll pretend none of this happened. Stay and die alone. Si Mas Ban semua kerja sama, lu kerja gue lupa deh. Besar tensi dah kena kena kata kerja sama. I really haven't found any new appreciation for gaming at this time because my appreciation for gaming before. Couldn't be higher. Com certeza, jogos multiplayer preenchem completamente a conexão social que eu preciso ter com outras pessoas nesses tempos de isolamento. E é o mais próximo que a gente pode ter de experiências reais com pessoas que estão longe da gente. You get to travel all over the world in games, which is something I've always taken for granted. And the moment I'm playing Ghost of Tsushima, and you know, I kind of prefer it to the real Japan, just because I've heard that in real life they don't let you run around with tanas. I appreciate games a lot more than films, music or whatever and it's just fine uh, for me to to have the time to play with friends or even with my family uh, to have a lot of fun. I've been mostly at home with small children and gaming is the only thing that I get to do for myself anymore. I find it's not only an escape, it's also a way to challenge my brain. Gaming is becoming clearly more important for a lot of people. You know, play is a natural instinct, and from Animal Crossing to The Last of Us Part Two, or, or it, yes, yes, it's definitely an incredible time now to be a gamer. Yes. Yeah, personality yang mereka bawa di sini kayak gua nggak kenal sama sekali gitu. Yang gua kenal cuma si Alana Pierce doang. Yang lain tuh nggak tahu itu jurnalis atau respawn. I'm Ben Sampella, head of respawn entertainment. When we set out to create Medal of Honor above and beyond, we knew we wanted to bring the series back to its roots. The Medal of Honor franchise is known for its powerful yeah, and exciting single-player stories full, yeah. that put the player in the boots of a soldier who was there. It's a series that is grounded in history, which tells emotionally authentic stories. 
Peter Hirschman, who directed the original Medal of Honor in 1999, is back at the helm of this project. You'll hear more from him in just a bit. Peter and I actually worked together on Medal of Honor Allied Assault in 2002, and I'm really happy he's joined us at Respawn to craft a completely new experience in VR. The team is creating a riveting and emotional journey through World War II like you've never seen or played. It weaves in the personal stories of the veterans and survivors of the war through powerful interviews that help set the stage for what players will experience. It's more than just a game. And we could not be more excited to show the world the next look at Medal of Honor Above and Beyond and the game's action-packed story. Let's take a look. I know this is the first time some of you will see combat. I know you're scared. Let me be clear with all of you. I'm scared too. Welcome to France, gentlemen. I lead the local resistance cell. Something big is happening inside Gestapo headquarters, and we don't know what it is. We're gonna have to improvise here. Members of the resistance are perhaps the bravest people fighting in this war. But you really should stop. There is no future in it. Sorry to interrupt, Lieutenant. We'll get you there. Did I say excited? Did you? Oh, so they call it past the other Like I said, boom! There are things that people I'm willing to sacrifice myself for. Somehow, this motley crew has been tasked with saving civilization. God help us all. Thank you so much, Vince. That looks incredible. And now we're here with Respawn Entertainment's Peter Hirschman, game director on Medal of Honor Above and Beyond, to talk more about their new VR experience. Uh, Peter, I got to say, the trailer really grabbed me. Such an incredible story that you're telling, too. Uh, tell us a bit about this single-player experience. What can we expect? Well, Jeff, thank you for having us on the show. The, I'm representing a whole team back at Respawn that's been working really hard on this, and it's, uh, it's so exciting to premiere the trailer uh, with you. Uh, Metal, uh, going back to its roots, uh, was always about putting uh, the player in the boots anyway. of a soldier fighting in World War II. Um, and with VR, yeah, we're finance, able to do uh, that see, okay, in almost see, a yeah, literal yeah, way. Uh, it's yeah, it's yeah, definitely the most all immersive all experience, all most immersive combat all experience all uh, all I've all ever all been able to work on. Um, and the story follows uh, you as a player being recruited into the Office of Strategic Services, um, commonly known as the OSS. Uh, and their mission was sabotage, espionage, search and rescue, everything uh, in between. Uh, you name it, they did it. Um, and they're known by a different set of initials uh, now, the, the CIA. Um, but during World War II, uh, they sent operatives all, all over Europe, uh, deep behind enemy lines. Uh, and that allows us to tell a story where you get to go to these places and locations and participate in events See, that super really super helped super shape super the super outcome of the war. One of the things I love about the trailer is you can tell there's a lot of interactivity in the environment, emerging game player. You, you got the piano and other things in there. Tell us a bit about um, how you're using that to, to tell the story. It seems like it's all kind of through a first-person perspective, but there are some story sequences. How do you tell the story? Oh, well, we shot, we shot over 120 pages of it. 
Itu kalau ditranslasikan ke gameplay konvensional tuh benar-benar bosenin banget gitu loh. International cast of phenomenal actors. Apa game cuma cuma hanya kan kan piano doang. Tapi kalau kita lihat ketika Story. Um, and the story is shot all from your perspective. Because it's VR, your head is the camera. We don't have cutscenes. We don't have edits. Everything, uh, everything revolves around your perspective. So you experience this story completely in first person, as as if you are there. Um, so it creates a much more intimate and, and uh, emotional connection with the characters and the things going on around you. Uh, it, it was a, an incredible way to, to shoot. Um, one of our animators stood in for the the player throughout uh, throughout the three weeks that we were on stage. Um, and all the actors are, are always reacting and talking to you directly. And in VR, it's such a, a powerful thing. It's all about building that emotional connection. And it just makes the experience all the more uh, authentic. Well, you and Vince, I know this this series is really close to your heart. And uh, I, I, I'm like, wow, there's, there's so much there to, to experience. It looks really rich and detailed, obviously authentic as well. Um, you know, paying tribute um, to everyone that uh, was involved in, in the war. I, I wanted to ask you also about multiplayer, which is something that Respawn is really known for. And you've had a great single player experience, but I hear you might also be doing MP too. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, the thing about VR is that, uh, you know, I've spent so much, I mean, we've known each other a long time. I, you know, I, yeah, well, you know so much of your career trying to map natural human movements to a to a. One of the hardest ones is, is leaning. And in VR, you know how you duck? You, you just duck. And, and how you lean in VR, you, you just lean. And so the ability to lean around a corner, just kind of peek around the corner and see where the bad guy is, is just it, it heightens the tension so much it makes it it makes it feel all more real and when you put that into a multiplayer experience it, it just raises it to a whole nother level so we are shipping in addition to the campaign we are shipping a, a, a full suite of vr modes uh, including a few that you can only do in vr and we're really excited about uh, people playing those uh, um, you know, uh, after it comes out wow. well, definitely a full-blown vr experience i gotta say i'm really excited excited to uh, put the headset on and try this and it's coming out uh, later this year right coming out holiday so uh yeah fasten your seatbelts. uh we're we're we are so excited to to bring it to players we've been working on it a long time like like you mentioned it's a passion project for for vince and i and everyone at respawn um it's it's uh it's a wonderful full circle uh, experience for a lot of us that got our started our careers working on those original set going back first one and 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 uh, uh, Allied Assault and now to be able to bring above and beyond uh, to a whole new generation is uh, is one of the most exciting things we've been involved with. Awesome, thank you so much, Peter. Opening night well, live. We'll be right back, and in the meantime, here's a look at a new game that is launching tonight. How shall we pakai mod kolonial? The world was broken. Fractured by the magic the Valkyries said they would protect us from. Spellstorms still rage across the ruins of the Hollow Lands. This is proof, they said. It isn't safe. It can't be controlled. Magic cannot be used. But I am a battle mage. I have broken my vow. And now I fight to break free. So the lagu is a anime bang. Transition Maksa gitu 
tiba-tiba lagu anime anime hype gitu. Ini mah bukan malam ya, udah pagi men, udah mau jam udah mau jam 3 tuh bukan malam lagi men. Itu udah jam udah pagi. Kapan datang ke Indonesia officialnya aja, men? Karena potensial banget gitu, tapi gak, gak available di Indo Masih pakai cara bypass, kayak ganti region, Windows lo, bla bla bla, sampai bisa beli uh, game pass Which is suck Kalau itu fiturnya tuh si Project S Cloud-nya ini bisa main di Android Nah ini pasti gak apa-apa juga di Indonesia ganteng Salah saya kadang-kadang So many great games in Xbox Game Pass, and many of tonight's games are in it as well. Uh, every year at Gamescom, we like to highlight some incredible games made in Germany. And tonight, we have a special announcement about one of the most legendary German games of all time, created by Factor 5. Enjoy. Game German. When I heard the music, the music was amazing, but the sound of the Amiga was amazing. I didn't have any music before. Factor 5 was so far ahead of the curve in innovation and quality. Each of their games pushed game technology as far as possible. I'd say they're one of the greatest indie developers of all time. Sound is amazing, graphics are amazing, gameplay is amazing, and it's really good. It's really good for me. Today, the Tarikan no collection was very good and I was very happy to see it. I would like to show it to everyone at the time. Factor 5 was the first game made in Germany and one of the most popular games. This was the first game that allowed me to completely fulfill my musical vision. It defined my career and the fans have been there ever since. To this day, it's one of my proudest works.
In June, yeah, Bungie revealed a new era function. of Destiny 2 that starts on November 10th with Beyond Light. For the first time ever, Guardians will add a new elemental power to their arsenal, the Dark Power of Stasis. With Stasis, players will take on the powers of darkness to control and dominate the battle. Here's an all-new look at Stasis from Destiny 2 Beyond Light. Obviously, I should have been saying Kling. But I don't know if there's a surprise announcement at the end or not. Obviously. The floodgates are open. The darkness is here. As you step away from the light, we need only look inward. Focus your power. Let it grow. Our fight is far from over. Dia pasti kayak kan, tampilnya lebih kayak es gitu. Oh, benar-benar kunci. Let them come. Si, so ni jam jam jaman dos dulu kan itu si. Si lebih tua si anda siapa ni? Kau ini pun gak kenal, kau masih lebih muda. Gue masih Sweet, sweet Seven Team Sweet Seven Team plus 20 Plus 15 Sweet Seven Team plus 16 So, sweet sebenarnya muka gitu yo. Kan banyak yang orang yang udah ini apa kayak usianya muda tapi muka itu wah. Apa aku mesti bangga gitu. Give out tonight and that is best Sony PlayStation game. So, without further ado, the winner is Cyberpunk 2077. Congratulations. Of course, there are even more awards than the ones I announced tonight. So check out the Gamescom Awards user voting, where you can vote for your favorite streamer, Gamescom's most wanted, and best of Gamescom. The winners will be revealed at Gamescom Best of Show, along with cool cosplayers, esports, and more. So tune in on Sunday, August 30th at 8 p.m. Central European time to see the grand finale of this year's Gamescom, where we give gamers the stage. That's it for me tonight. But before I turn it back to Jeff, I just want to say that I hope everyone out there is staying safe and healthy. We're all in this together, so Take care. Back to you, Jeff. Thank you very much, uh, Sydney. It's great to have you on the show again this year. Uh, all right. Well, a lot of people have been wondering what will the next generation of gaming feel like? How will it be different? What is that generational difference? Well, back in June, we saw the announcement of Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart from Insomniac Games, a title which uses the power of PlayStation 5, the SSD hard drive, and the DualSense controller to create an experience that Insomniac says is only possible on brand new hardware. Well, now it's time for you to decide if you see the difference. Here's an extended, uninterrupted demo of live PlayStation 5 gameplay of Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Okay. Enjoy. Gak interrupt, berarti kayak flow. Ada six FPS. We're back. Hmm. And not far from where we last saw him. We may still have time to put a stop to this. Hey! I think I found the Wombat! Oh, dear. Let's show him how it's done. 
Bringing out the big guns. Oh, that I'm going to send you to the gun. If there's a better part of the particle, you're going to kill a body. Particle, you're going to kill a body. Last one. The train's pulling away. Let's go. How much particle effect you want? Yes. Put down the dimensionator, nefarious. Put down the dimensionator. Yeah, right. Today I will finally be free of the both of you. Soon, everything you see will be mine. Say goodbye. Hitting Nefarious's device seems to have destabilized reality. The bridge is shot! There has to be another way across! Hmm, the rifts appeared to react to your device. Try pointing it at one of them. <laughs> that was rather exciting. Bukan lokasi yang sama, itu pindah-pindah dunia dia. A kraken, or at least a very large octopus. I will never get used to that. Hey, at least we're on the same planet this time. Nefarious is on the other side of that building. Let's get moving before he does anything else to break reality. Tapi yang yang imbangnya partikel efek ni sih. Kau masih belum lihat kan? Dia bisa ganti dunia ke real time terus sampai ke mana? Terus lu bisa ekspor dunia sampai berapa detik terus balik lagi gitu. Jadi pas tu jatuh ke rifnya, itu terus tu bisa pilih kemana lu mau pergi gitu. Jadi dunia langsung tersebar gitu di bawah rif. Terus tu bisa bisa pilih lu mau kemana dulu. Sebelum lu bisa balik lagi, itu akan showcase sesuatu ni. Jadi kalau sekarang 
scary kok gak gak lihat bener-bener begitu penting ya gitu sesuatunya bisa kayak sekarang itu bisa pilih dunia yang lo mau mau apa mau 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 apa mau jatuh gitu karena ini kan masih masih screen kayak gitu Ratchet. Who? Kita ada apa? Ada ada surprise announcement di akhir atau? Kalian. Okay. Ini akhirnya gitu. Kita masih ada last announcement. There you have it, Ratchet and Clank, Rift Apart, and now I am joined by Marcus Smith and Mike Daly from Insomniac Games. Uh, guys, it was so great to see that uh, long, uninterrupted demo of uh, Rift Apart, and I have so many questions. Uh, it's amazing to see what you're doing with the power of PS5 and the SSD. Um, let me ask you first, Marcus, what are you able to do with Rift Apart that you haven't been able to do before in a Ratchet game because of the power of PS5? I mean, first and foremost, it's just pure horsepower enables us to fill our worlds with the kind of density of life that we've never been able to do before. Um, more importantly, perhaps so, is the dimensional shifting that we have going on, which uses the SSD uh, that allows us to fling the player from planet to planet to planet, uh, lightning fast, like in, in way, way faster than anything we've uh, ever been able to do before. Yeah, the, the rift tether, we saw that in the uh, demo. We had seen some of that in the, the trailer. So that's, that's all actual uh, gameplay. Mike, I'm curious, like, how does that, how does that work? Work as you kind of play through the game, are there certain moments and levels where you can jump, or how do you play through that? Yeah, so in the game, there is dimensional damage spread throughout the galaxy that Ratchet and Clank have to find a way to fix. And you can find these weak points in space-time that you can pull you with your Rift Tether. It's like being able to lasso a portal, and that enables you to basically like warp across the world to find new places to discover or gain a tactical advantage in combat. Wow, yeah, I gotta say, like, when you see that and you imagine the jumping from multiple worlds at, you know, at instantaneously almost, and it sounds like there's no load screens throughout the entire game? That's right. We're going to see that. Wow. I like it. Um, now, <laughs> let me ask you about Dual Sense. That's something that is a big part of PS5. Uh, I had a chance to get the controller, the, the, the triggers, and the haptics. Um, how are you using that for, to sort of impact the gameplay of Rift Apart? So, at the heart of every Ratchet and Clank game is a powerful arsenal of weapons that just exude a ton of personality. And the dual sense is sort of like, it feels like it was made for Ratchet and Clank just because the haptics give us a whole new layer for the weapons to yeah, express be themselves. Be dual sense, so, for yeah, example, yeah. your burst pistol, of course, it gives you like a satisfying click 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 with every bullet. But when you throw the shatter bomb, you can actually feel the energy pulsing off the grenade fade away as it gets further apart from you. Basically, the haptics are expressive enough that every weapon feels different and you can tell what you're holding. But of course, the adaptive trigger like takes that to a functional level where, in addition to the trigger pull feeling unique, we can actually use that as a super intuitive way to add alternate functions to the weapons. So, for example, in the demo, we've got the enforcer, which is a double-barreled shotgun. You can pull the trigger part of the way down until you hit resistance to fire a single barrel. And then whenever you feel like it's the right time, pull it the rest of the way for a double shot. So you might be swarmed by a bunch of little enemies, 
you only want to waste one shot on them and then wait a minute for even more to swarm in before finishing them off. But a big guy, you probably want to just give both barrels to right away. So there's a nice intuitive way of basically raising the skill ceiling and giving you more ways to play better. Wow. No, I'm excited to see how you guys are going to roll that out across what I'm sure are insane uh, you know, group of weapons as always. Uh, Plot-wise, Marcus, tell us a bit about this game. I think some fans have wondered, you know, does this tie into the movie plot line, the game plot line? Like, how? tell us in the Ratchet verse where this sits. Yeah. Well, canonically, this is a, an extension of uh, Ratchet & Clank um, Into the Nexus, the 2013 game. But it's a standalone adventure. So it, it's one that, it, even if you've never played a Ratchet & Clank game, you can get into it and you'll understand it and you'll enjoy it. Um, for hardcore fans, we have a lot of nods. You're going you're gonna to see a lot of returning <laughs> characters <laughs> and, and uh, see them all through a whole new light of uh, multiple, multiple dimensionality. Yeah, no, this this Rift Tether thing, I think, looks really exciting. And how often, like, is that something we saw in the demo? Is that something you're going to see, like, frequently in the game? Are there special moments? Like, I guess I'm curious, like, how often you use that technique for gameplay. So the, the Rift Tether has created these anomalies all throughout the galaxy. You'll encounter those pretty often. There's even a few more types of dimensional damage you'll encounter that we haven't shown yet. Okay. Now, being pulled between worlds... That's, that's localized to chasing after Dr. Nefarious in the demo. Um, and that's sort of reserved for special moments when you really have to, um, when, when the dimensional damage really tears wide open. Well, I got to say, it looks incredible. And then at the end, we got another tease of uh, this female Lombax. Uh, I, I know you guys have confirmed she is playable in parts of the game. Uh, I think everyone wants to know, though, do we have a name for her? Uh, I mean, the world is more interesting with mysteries, and we're going to have to keep this one uh, a little longer. Do, do we get a number of letters in her name or anything? <laughs> Too many smart people on the internet. They'll, get, they'll okay. figure it out right away. She's not named Abby, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll have to wait and see what you guys have in store for us. I got to say, I mean, it looks incredible. The Ratchet games are always so much fun. And as you said, when you think of the power of SSD and the DualSense all coming together, uh, it looks really exciting. Before we go, though, uh, I think everyone around the world wants to know when we're going to get to play this game. Anything you can share with us on where you're at in development right now? Launch title. Mike. <laughs> Mike? <laughs> So Ratchet and Clank is coming out in the PS5 launch window. So we haven't Ooh. announced a release, a specific release date yet. So stay tuned for that. What kind of window? Is it big window? So no, I'm just kidding. All right, that's all we're gonna get. I'm sure Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart coming in the launch window for PlayStation 5. I gotta say, uh, Insomniac. Uh, we're so excited what you guys are doing across PlayStation, and uh, the game looks incredible. So thank you so much for all you've done, and we look forward to seeing more of uh, Rift Apart soon. Thanks, Jeff. Take care. All right. Marcus and Mike yeah. from Insomniac, thanks, thanks for showing us that first look at Ratchet & Clank or PlayStation 5. And that's going to do it for Opening Night Live. Thank you so much for watching from around the world. And make sure to stay tuned all weekend for more live Gamescom coverage at Gamescom.global. As for us, we'll see you later this year. For the Game Awards 2020, our team is hard at work to build a very special live show for you coming in December. We'll see you then. Good night. Oh, penting ada banyak announcement, super announcement. Karena dari dari semua game yang ditunjukin hari ini, 12 minutes yang kayak di top tier gua gitu. Uh, yang paling gua excited ya si 12 minutes ya. Jadi ada ada film di fall dan sebagainya. Uh, antisipasi gua tinggi untuk untuk 12 minutes. Dari yang tinggi jadi makin super tinggi gitu. Ya paling gitu doang sih. Uh, sudah jam tiga, saya tidur. Uh, gue rasa gue harus menjelaskan terima kasih buat semua orang yang udah nongkrong sampai 85 orang uh, masih nonton di jam 3 pagi um, semoga lo tidur nyenyak um, semoga ini uh, event Gamescom yang tidak membuat lo ngerasa kayak ah shit ngapain gue uh, begadang buat acara beginian gitu tapi um, ya yeah, gue rasa gue lama excited sama 12 minutes um, antisipasi gue bener-bener tinggi untuk untuk itu game Uh, paling itu, gue gak tau gue akan live streaming apa lagi next, uh, hopefully um, bisa dalam waktu dekat ini, tapi um, gue mungkin akan 
uh, punya artikel NDA hari ini um, untuk game Bandai Namco terus uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator gue belum sentuh lagi jadi hopefully gue bisa uh, review minggu depan oke okay, guys uh, thank you semoga lo enjoy sesuai streamingnya tidur lainnya nyenyak karena jam 3 dan semoga lo memang dikasih kesempatan buat bangun siang juga sih biar tidurnya cukup bye bye dadah sampai basah ciao